just calling to say I... going on all my bros and hoes in different area coach what's going on baby potty here along with scott we are here bringing you coverage of ufc 289 we thank you very much for joining us we're in the middle of eric andrews taking on uh barrett uh, i can't even pronounce his last name i'll probably butcher it it's canadian i mean that's what i know but nevertheless andrews is doing a very very good job utilizing dirty boxing this is a crazy fight and this is a crazy fight card in itself and on paper, if you look at every single fight, top to bottom, left to right, every single fight is evenly matched. Uh, like, let's just get, for example, this fight that's going on right now, Eric Anders is 15-7, and seven, Canadian guy, 15-6. and six. I mean, very, very evenly matched, and this is going to be the reoccurring theme this entire event, and a very, very underrated event at that. And we thank you very much for joining us for this live coverage of UFC 289, live from beautiful, beautiful Canada. My name is David Potter, the Big Dick Bandit of all of MMA, and we're very, very proud to uh, be presenting you the coverage of uh, UFC 289. And leave a comment. Trolls are welcomed. Please leave some comments. Tell me where you're at. Tell me what you're representing. Tell me if you're watching from Germany, USA, anywhere. We'll love to give you a shout out. So right now we are in the middle of Eric Anders taking on, I'm going to, Burr, let me pronounce this, Burr, Rot. Alt? Baratot? I, I'm feeling retarded right now. I can't even pronounce that name. Oh my goodness. Off to a bad start, but nevertheless, Eric Anders, round number one, it concludes with Eric Anders obviously having a distinct advantage. Um, if you look at the total strikes right now, Eric Anders have, has 37 out of 66, while uh, Bar, I'm just going to call him Bar, Canadian guy, 41 out of 58 total strikes. So it might the round might go to um, Canadian guy. Scott, producer, can we get the, the name of this gentleman, please? Because I'm too retarded to sound it out. Uh, I'm working. I'll have it right up. <laughs> I don't know how Thank to you. say Thank it you either. Much. Thank you. He can't pronounce it either. So we go to round number two. And Eric Andrews did a very, very good job utilizing dirty boxing, getting inside the clinch, utilizing that dirty boxing. But when he was outside of the pocket, as you see from the replay right now, when he was outside the, the pocket, the uh, Canadian guy actually had a lot of success. Mark Andre, there you go. There you go. That's easy to pronounce. Last names, not so much. And we thank you very much for tuning in, all 39 of you. <laughs> thank you very much for uh, tuning in to the uh, coverage as we go to round number two. Eric Anders taking on Mark Andre as they size each other up. Nice kick to the body. That's. I, that's what uh, Eric Andres has to do. He has to actually close the distance, get inside the pocket, utilize that dirty boxing. And that's where he was finding the most success. Uh, and also, Eric Anders went for four takedowns and missed every single one. So every takedown got stuffed. He's going for another takedown again. Nicely defended by Mark Andre. Needs, needs the body, pushes him against the cage. Oh, nice strikes. Nice combination put together by Mark Andre. Right now, sizing each other up. Nice kick to the body by Eric Anders. As we go to round number two, Eric Andrews has to close that distance. He can't stay outside the pocket, and he's getting tagged every single time he does. Goes for a nice knee. Eric Andrews, <laughs> Eric Andrews looks at the ref and says, what the fuck was that? <laughs> he almost got knee right in the fucking face. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on right now. Referee actually stopped the action. Let's uh, take a look at the replay. Yeah, I think it might have been a kick to the balls. Yeah. We don't want any of those. Yeah, kicking the sisters. Yep, that's what happened. Yeah, sometimes uh, the foot placement is a, a little bit, uh, it's touch and go. Uh, sometimes uh, sometimes you get it. Sometimes you get that knee. But also, yeah, I figure your foot is also being lifted. That's why it's always keeping your foot pointed when you do that knee, just in case 
just so you don't catch anybody right in the uh, the fun parts. And I think the uh, event, I think the fight is actually going to continue right now with Eric Anders taking on Mark Andre. Thank you, producer. I finally can pronounce his name. And smash that like button. S smash that subscribe button. Leave some comments. And also leave some troll comments too. We appreciate trolls around these parts. And the fight will continue. Four minutes on the clock for round number two. Round number dos. And uh, Mark Andre has one knockdown also. If you look at the, the fight stats right now, and the, what I'm analyzing from uh, the ESPN um, score sheet, I think Mark Andre, uh, Mark Andre obviously won round number one just by total strike percentages and with good takedown defense. Defended actually four takedowns. And Mark Andre is trying to find a good, um, good entry to engage. Once again, as I was saying before, that he's finding a lot of success with fighting inside the pocket, doing the dirty boxing. And Mark Andre is going to the well one too many times. I think Eric Andre is picking up on it where Mark Andre will throw a kick and then follow up with a punch. Kick right to the body and then follow up with the punch. That's why uh, you, you'll see that Eric Andr uh, Anders is actually adjusting his stance. Actually, Andy, Eric Anders was actually on one of my podcasts. He's a great guy, former football player. Outstanding, outstanding individual, but also an exceptional athlete as well. He made a very good transition from football over to mixed martial arts. Very impressed with his transition. And you don't see a lot of that too. You see uh, it's touch and go, especially with uh, former football players coming into the sport of mixed martial arts. And finally gets him down. Eric Anders gets down Mark Andre. And he'll be in side control right now. Now heavy on the head. Goes up to his base. He's got to break him down. There you go. Good wrestling technique. Mark Andre is scooting all the way to the cage. He's got a ass walk. He's got a wall walk. Eric Anders is trying to capture that leg to break down his base to get him back to the floor, get him back to the deck. Wall walks gets right up, back to their feet. Now, dirty boxing from Mark Andres, like I said, had the most success with with um, dirty boxing. He's got see, this is what he's doing every fucking time. He's throwing that kick right to the body and following up with that right. This is what Mark Andre is doing every single time with success. But Mark Andres has to has to catch it. Maybe catch that leg, block that punch, do fucking something and stop that uh, forward momentum of uh Mark Andre. And we thank everybody, all my bros and hoes in different area codes for joining us for this coverage and analysis, in-depth analysis of UFC 289. What's going on, baby? How you doing? Cotton. Cheers from Oklahoma. Boomer Sooner, baby. Boomer Sooner. You guys have a sick fucking wrestling program, let me tell you. And football program. You guys are just sick in all itself. Every single sport you guys are talented at. Stop being so talented. Stop it. I appreciate it. And they will stop the action. I have no idea why. I think that, uh, was there another shot in the nuts? I don't know, Mr. Producer. I missed that. I was too busy shouting out my boy from uh, Oklahoma. And leave a comment, all you bad motherfuckers, please. And also leave some troll comments, too, so I can say that I'm streaming live from your mom's basement. I'll come up with something clever. So I welcome that. All comments, baby. All comments. Bring them to me, baby. Yeah, they, uh, they cease the action for some reason. I, I'm not really too sure why. And this referee looks like uh, the uh, plump version of The Rock. Or that wrestler, Maven from WWE. That guy looks like uh, the bully from uh, Friday. Yeah, you know the bully I'm talking to? The nuts. Ooh, yeah. another, another kick to the nuts. Another kick to the nuts? Oh my goodness. I wish my nuts got that much attention. You know what I'm saying? And they restart, <laughs> they restart the action. And Eric Anders oh, throws a nice kick to the head. It was blocked by Mark Andre. Mark, uh, Andre. Pulling out that jab, giving him something to think about. Mark Andre's going to throw that another kick. He's going to keep fucking doing that. He's going to keep throwing that kick, that right kick, following up with a right straight. Now Mark Anders, he has his timing down. He computed the data. And now he's going to come after him. And yeah, this is what uh, Mark Andres has to do. He has to close the distance and get to that dirty boxing, baby. And right now, if you look at total strikes, 
it's starting to to even out between Mark Andres and uh yeah Eric Anders and Mark Andre is starting to even out a little bit if you look at the uh, the copy stats right now as I'm looking at presented by ESPN our good friends at ESPN closing the distance again nice to, knee to the body another knee to the body more dirty boxing Eric Anders well executed well executed dirty boxing. Eric Anders has gone for seven takedowns and landed one thus far in this fight. And we thank everybody for joining us, by the way, for live coverage of UFC 289 live from beautiful Canada. There was that kick again. Eric Anders is finally timing it, follows up with the left and the right. Left jab, right straight. That's going to that's gonna, that's gonna make Mark Andre give him something to think about, make him reassess his strategy right now. And the nuts. Yes, Shantendo. Best name ever. Just saying, I was just playing the Taylor Switch with my nephew. Great screen name. Great screen name, Sean. Stop being so wonderful. I appreciate it. Eric Andres is trying to find an entry point to get inside the pocket, close the distance. Once again, utilizing dirty boxing. That's going to be the strategy. Goes for another kick. And, oh, man, as we end round number two, I would have to give round number two for Eric Anders. Round number one will go to Mark Andre. And let's go over the total strikes right now. Eric Anders has 59 strikes he landed out of 127. And Mark Andre has 64 strikes landed at, out of 119. And uh, takedowns, Mark Andre has gone for zero takedowns, where uh, Eric Anders, the more active fighter, went for uh, seven takedowns and got one. And those stats are brought to you by our good friends at ESPN. Yeah, and Mark, Mark Andre has been going to the well one too many times. He goes for a right kick to the body and then follows up with a right straight. And the problem with that is if you keep fucking doing it 20 million times, what do you think is going to happen? Eric Anderson has said, okay, I'm going to either catch that leg and I'm going to make you pay for it, and that will be my entry point to getting to the pocket in order to utilize dirty boxing. Or when you land that right straight, I'm just going to angle you off and I'm going to whack you. I mean, there's there's a couple different ways. I, I, I think Mark Andre is not showing all of his weapons in this fight, and he does have quite a bit of weapons too. Mark Andre coming in with a five and six record. Eric Anders, a good friend of mine, he's been on my show multiple times. Great individual. He is uh, coming in with a fifteen and seven record. As we uh, go to the third and final round of this very very competitive fight, and that's going to be the reoccurring theme. This this fight card was highly underrated. Just because everyone saw the the um, the main event, like oh no, fucking Penny is out, and listen, get get the sand out of your bearded clam, okay? Because that 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 trilogy is going to be the inevitable, okay? Penny is obviously going to be fighting Nunes. The third fight is destined to happen. This is going to be a very very competitive fight, and uh, you know, I Nunes has a has mm -hmm. a has a tough task uh, on her hands. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't sleep on uh, sleep on her opponent. And I asked her, uh, I asked her a question. I'm like, "What makes you? What challenges do you bring to the table that Penny would it?" And she just said, "I'm Mexican." Fair enough, ma'am. Fair enough. And now Eric Andrews backs him up against the cage, backs up Mark Andre against the cage, goes for a takedown, goes for a single leg, deep into a single leg. Now Mark Andre is deep into a standing guillotine choke, nicely defending, one under hook in, one hook in. Eric Andrews trying to soften up the legs, trying to soften up his base. Now he's just got to spin, rotate a little bit, and then just take him down that way. Again, armchair quarterback right now. You know what I'm saying? And oh my goodness, leave a comment. All my bros and hoes in different area codes with swollen lip nodes and tiny chodes, be sure to leave a comment. Trolls are welcomed, but just tell where you're at. I would sleep on her opponent. Oh my God, that's a zing. Oh, Cotton Weaver with the comment of the night so far, baby. I like the way you think. I like your moves and your style, sir. And they break off, disengage off the cage, and now they're back into the middle. Eric Anders and Mark Andre. And now pawing on him a little bit. Good head movement, utilize. Once again, Mark Andre doing the same fucking thing over and over again. Right kick, right. I, I don't know why Eric Anders is not just catching that leg and going from a takedown, going from an entry point for that. But again, I'm armchair quarterbacking it. You know, I, I once again, you can play every sport one ball, but combat sports takes two. So. Yeah, you know, I'm definitely not a UFC par fighter, so I shouldn't be even commenting what he should be doing. He probably knows better than me, but this is what I'm seeing from the comfort of your mom's basement. Kidding.
kidding, kidding. Angling off right now, utilizing very, very good angles from Mark Andre. Eric Anders catches him with a right, goes for a left, gets right out of dodge. Now trying to back him up against, against the cage, closing the distance. Yeah, that's going to be, um, you know, it, see, see, when it comes to judges, perception is reality. So you have judges that might be, per, uh, be looking at the total strikes landed or looking at the percentages. Uh, but you ha might look, have a judge that is, per, uh, that is paying attention to who's the most active. So is this going to be a, a weird fight to judge going into um, the final round? We are one minute and 42 seconds left as, um, yeah, this is going to be a weird, weird fight to call in. It's going to come down to perception being reality. Goes for another takedown. That was stuffed. That will be his 10th takedown of this fight. Very, very active. Pushing the pace of the fight. Octagon control. And like I said, you're going to look at percentages, which obviously when it comes down to percentages... Uh, Mark Andre is winning the total strike battle, 98 strikes out of 181 to uh, Eric Anders, who is 76 out of 168. But look at who's been more active. You know, it's uh, Eric Anders has been pushing the pace of the fight. Octagon control, uh, you know, just dictating where the fight goes, really taking control of the center of the octagon, pushing the pace. So it's gonna perception is going to be reality going into the judge's decision. Goes for a jab, goes for another takedown. That will be the 11th takedown attempt. That uh, you know, a little bit weak on the uh, the single leg. Goes for a straight left. Goes right through. Punt, kick right to the leg. Now Eric Andrews backs off. And now being outside of the pocket with Mark Andre is not where you want to be. Especially heading 42 seconds left in the first round. Again, following up with that right kick to a right straight. And it's landing at will right now in this final round. Eric Andrews looks a little bit tired. Now, now he goes for a kick of his own, pushes him against the cage. He's got to utilize that dirty boxing. You know, he's got to make a statement. 20 seconds left into the third round. Nice left, lands, changing levels, level changing, giving him something to think about. Kick right to the body, Mark, Ander, uh, Mark Andre, to keep him at bay, keep him out of dodge. And this fight is going to conclude. 10 seconds left on the clock. It looks like, oh, nice. Nice strike landed from Eric Anders. Nice head kick. Going for the knockout, going for the home run. Oh, when we end the fight, what a competitive bout. And this is going to be the recurrent theme of the evening. If you guys go on Google, go, just schmoogle with us. Go on every single fight of this fight card. Every single fight on paper is competitive. And that usually translates very, very well to the action you're going to see in the cage. This is a very, very underrated fight card. And I'm telling you, every fight is going to be impressive. I watched the prelims, the early prelims. Every single fight showed up, showed out, and every single fighter showed up and showed out. So I, I think everyone's going to be pleasantly surprised when they uh, when they judge this event as a whole. Severely, severely underrated. As we go to the judge's scorecard for a decision, and Eric Anders, I don't know, man. This is, uh, is going to be a tough fight to call because, once again, Eric Anders was pushing the pace, octagon control, pushing him against the cage, uh, pushing him against the cage dictating the pace. But uh, Mark, uh, uh, Mark Andre... 111 strikes landed at 206. Yeah, he uh, it's going to be a tough, tough fight to call. And Eric Anders also has three minutes and 16 seconds of control to uh, Mark Andre, 40 seconds of control. So you got you got to figure: Are we going to go with percentages? Are we going to have that judge that is going to pay attention to all the percentages, break it down, and say, well, based on percentages, Mark Andre wins this fight? Or you're going to have the judge um, that says, well, Eric Anders really pushed the pace of the fight and was the mo more active fighter with octagon control. Let's go with him. Or you're going to have a judge that pretty much is Stevie Wonder and doesn't know, even know what the fuck he's doing. So we will see as we go to the judge's scorecard. Judge's decision. What's going to happen? Oh, they go with Mark andre by decision. Unanimous decision. 30 to 27. 30 to 27. 30 to 27. Unanimous decision win. For Mark Andre, gentlemen, I can't pronounce his last name still. Which thank you, Miss Producer, for uh, popping up his name because I'm at Miley retarded. So I appreciate it, and thank you all 126 of you for joining us for the official uh, coverage of UFC 289 live from beautiful, beautiful Canada. This is David Potter for all my bros and hoes and different area codes with swollen lip nodes and tiny chones. Flynn, love you, man, for doing this. Of course, brother, I'm here for you. Leave a comment. Let me uh, show you some love. Leave some troll comments. 
Once again, I can say that I'm airing live from your mom's basement. Well, we'll have some fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's welcome here. Everybody's welcome, babe. And we're going to go to the uh, next fight of the evening. And this is going to be, once again, on paper, another fight that's going to be extremely competitive. And once again, I, I, I couldn't stress it enough. I, you've seen the reactions online and seen the comments, which, you know, I, I love trolls more than anybody. But seeing the reaction to this fight card has been sort of uh, underwhelming. You know, I, I think this is going to be one of those underrated fight cards. But if you look at the prelims, the prelims delivered. Every every fighter showed up and showed out. Uh, I, I thought the prelims were great. And once again, every single fight, while it doesn't have necessarily the heavy hitters in this, we got a man of fighters of all time. Uh, you know, somebody that stopped uh, Ronda Rousey on their tracks. I mean, you, you got... Um, you got Charles Oliveira, who is a big dick bandit in his own right and a fucking legend. I mean, how many fights does he have? Like, 50? <laughs> like, the guy is a fucking legend. I mean, the, every single fight, just look up their records, is even on paper. And once again, it translates very, very well to the cage and to the action you're going to be seeing for uh, this evening's festivities. And if you like this video as much as I like you, smash that subscribe button, baby. Scra slam that like button. And we're going to the next fight of the evening. And they're flashing to the crowd. A lot of famous, prominent fighters in the crowd. Oh, there is Valentina Matyushenko. Did I pronounce it right? Producer, did I pronounce it right? Matyushenko? I can't hear her. Jesus? Did I pronounce her name right? Shevchenko. Shevchenko. Fuck me in the beard. Jesus. Why do I always mispronounce their last names? Jesus Christ. You're being distracted um, by her beauty. Exactly. Did you, did you see that? Did you see that one guy that shot his shot at Valentina at the uh, the presser? That was great. That was great. You gotta shoot your shot, baby. You gotta shoot your shot. What do you mean shoot his shot? What is? What do you mean by that? He he pretty much he went on the mic and said, "Hey, Valentina, I got two questions for you. One, are you single? Two, do you want my number?" The the balls on that gentleman. You gotta he, appreciate it. He was press. Yeah, he... no, it was like one of the fans. He went on oh. the microphone and he said, hey, Valentina, two questions for you. One, are you single? And two, do you want my number? I'm like, good for you, King. Well done, sir. Well done. That's solid move. If it was right? press, solid I would move. say no. But a fan? You got to get your dick wet somehow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got to shoot your <laughs> shot, you know? And if you're at a bar right now and you're watching this, shoot your shot. Go up to that one pretty girl and say, hey, listen. I got a spoon. You want to eat my ass? No, no, no. Don't use that pickup line. Don't use that pickup line. Don't listen to me. It only worked on my fiance. Not, not any of you. It, it might not work the same for you guys. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't listen to my advice. <laughs> Producer, do I hear you laughing? Don't laugh at my jokes. Only these, only these fans can laugh at my jokes. Not you, sir. You just produce. You, sir, are here for my entertainment. Fair enough, sir. And we want to thank all 169, <laughs> it said 69, I want to thank all 169 of you for watching the official coverage of UFC 2, hey, 9, as we go to the next fight of the evening, Val Land here, where, I'm going to fuck up everybody's name, Nate, who's <laughs> 17 and 4, 17 4 record, fighting Dan, <sighs> Dan, uh, he's going to be in the featherweight division, uh, 16 and 6 record, should be a most, most competitive fight. I need, like, a translator. Seriously. So, someone to help me with last names, man. I mean, my last name is Potter. So, obviously, God hates me. But I was also blessed with uh, number two. I can't even pronounce anybody's last name. So, As we go to the second fight of the evening, featherweight division, 145-pound weight division. On paper, once again, these guys very much even, both with an orthodox stance, both have a striking average, just the same, very similar. Takedown accuracy leans a little bit more towards Nate uh, with the 62% uh, takedown accuracy at, to, uh, to Dan's 26%. And uh, submission average is 1.36 for Nate to uh, Dan's uh, 0.33. But once again, very even fight. Um, Nate is actually coming in as 35 years old. Jesus Christ, 35 years young. 
I mean, I can barely move off the fucking couch, and I'm 36. And this guy's 35 and fighting in the biggest combat sports promotion in the world. God bless his heart. And once again, we're going to be covering every single fight for the rest of the evening. And we want to thank everybody for joining us for your coverage of UFC 289. I can't thank you enough. Do, 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 do. Right now, they are going to uh, the uh, pre fight hype for Dan fighting Nate. Have any comments? Let me see if I can pop up these comments. Because I want to be able to read every single one of them. Let me see what you big dick bands have to say, shall we? Can we do that, producer? I think we can. Can we? What what comments would you like? Let's see what we got over Mia. I like all of them. Good, bad, ugly. I don't discriminate towards comments, sir. Also, leave where you're, you're Here's a, you're, here's you're a good from, comment so right there too. from our buddy Cotton. Please. Everyone leave a like. Oh, Cotton. Look at this big dick bandit over here. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate you. Okay, we got it. Let's let's go to these comments, shall we? Cheers from Oklahoma. Alvera gonna win. Oh, that's a good pick. That's you can't. That's a pretty safe pick, I must say. I must convey. Mainly want to see my boy Charlie Charles win tonight, but there's a lot of good fights. Yeah, it's stacked to the tits. A very very good fights and evenly matched on paper. Barry O. Shantendo, what's going on? The twins, Cotton Weaver. Let's go, Barry O. Fuck yeah. Guessing a Quebecer, huh? Don't know what that the context of that, but please elaborate, Shantendo. One of the best screen names on the planet Earth. Who wins between uh, Charles and Benel? That's a that's a very good question. So, ah, uh, who wins between Charles and Benel? Uh, you know, my I, I really want Charles to walk away with it, just because Charles he's he's a a veteran of the game. You know, he has what 30, 40 fights. You know, he's always put on exciting fights. I don't think he could put on a fucking boring fight if he tried. You know, he's he's always exciting. He always keeps it competitive. He's always going to be in that upper echelon of the weight class. Uh, Benel is, that guy's a, a buzzsaw though. I mean, this is going to be a very, very tough fight for Charles. But I, I hope Charles pulls it out. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a very, very good co-main event. Uh, is the main event canceled? No. Is there a link to view the fight? Just order it, you broke bastard. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Max. Uh, Flynn, love you, man, for doing this. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. No problem, Professor. Oh, my God. Thank you very much, Leonardo the Kappa, bro. Oh, you see what I did there? Fuck yeah, man. Nate walking out to the ring. And we want to thank for all the fight stats. I'll be giving you the fight stat, st uh, stats as they come in from our good friends at ESPN. I'll be giving you all the numbers, all the breakdowns of every single round. And we want to thank you very much for uh, for joining us. And Flashpoint Nursing, much love. Much love to you, bro brother. I was probably already subbed from Cotton Weaver, my boy. Pokemon World, are you showing the love fights? The live, oh, oh, oh. Oh. The the love fights or the love yeah, fights? the love fights. I mean, let me whip it out. I can whip it out, man. You want? Can no, I whip we it don't out? want that. You we don't want that. No? Turn down. Oh, oh okay, down. okay. We'll save it for later. If we can get to, if we can get to five hundred people. I think I'm gonna whip it out. What do you think, producer? Do you think uh, we'll get banned? We'll get in trouble. I don't think they'll see anything, so I think we'll be okay. Very true. <laughs> they'll see. Uh, they'll see what a real man looks like. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, producer? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Pipe dream, baby. Pipe dream, producer. Yeah. Hey, I was, I was wondering, do you, th do you think uh, during the downtime we should have a, a contest of some sort? Oh, we should. We should. What, what kind of contest are you suggesting, Mr. Producer? I don't know. I, 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 got, I got like an archive of some, uh, some videos, maybe like an archive of the first person that can guess who the fighter is. Ooh, very nice, very that nice. I, that I That's put a very up. good contest. I don't know, see see if we see if we got some uh, how deep the knowledge is of everybody here. I got a challenge for you guys. Who was the first woman who was supposed to fight in the UFC but it never materialized? Oh, but but that could, that, oh, that, that could Weaver, be. Don't threaten him with a good time, baby. 
That could be up so, for a... We, do, we, do we have a prize? How, maybe we should have some sort of a prize. Hmm. Hmm. What, what should the prize be, Mr. Producer? We, uh, we got to come up with something something spectacular for the prize. Wait, what do you think? Hmm. Let's, uh... I'm just wondering how... Yeah, we could, uh... Let me check the bank account and see if I have a couple nickels in there. There you go. There you go. Mr. Producer is all in, baby. And by the way, leave a comment for all the people that are watching. Suck? Yo, Jonathan, it might suck, but I am airing right live from your mom's basement. See, I knew I was going to use that one once tonight. I knew it. I knew it. Jathan, right here, buddy. Right here. Pipe dream. <laughs> Yeah, well, maybe we should do the, the who who the first woman was, but I think that could be up for debate. <laughs> I love you. The no, Jonathan, no, what's going on, baby? How you doing? I was just kidding. Just joking, brother. Thanks for watching. But for uh, while this fight, before it begins, again, Pepsi Challenge, who was the very first female that was supposed to fight in the UFC and never materialized? And I'll give you a hint. It happened around 2004, 2005 when the talks were going to uh, – when it was going to transpire. And once again, it's not Ronda Rousey. So don't even guess that. And by the way, ju just saying, you know, Ronda Rousey, me too, cr uh, crotch face. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Very nice. Well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love trolls. Not Gina. No, not Gina. Be pre Gina. Not Gina. Very close. This very close. Pre Gina. Man. Pre Gina. I'll give you a hint. She was oh, the very first female in a UFC video game. No, Jonathan. Come on, baby. You know this. Come on. Come on, fuckface. Come on. Let's, Use your let's, noggin. We're gonna. This is a tough one. Let. We're gonna put. We're gonna put ten. Ten fiat dollars. Ten fiat not Misha, US not Misha. dollars. Dollars. Whoever, whoever's the first one to guess this, I got tens on it, son. Ten, Ten that bucks. you can't guess it. Holly, not Cyborg. Melissa was very not. No, no, no. Cyborg fought Gina Carano in the very first, like very, very first, like pay per view United States Strike Force. This was 2009, where they main event. I'm talking UFC. Who was the very first female that was supposed to fight in the UFC, but the ne fight never materialized? And I'll give you a hint. She was the very first woman to be in a UFC video game. And she also did uh, some UFC broadcasting with one of the, here's another hint, with one of the foreign broadcasters. Right. You guys give up? At least foreign. Yeah. No, don't. Shut, let, let, him, let him keep. Should I put up a video? Okay. okay. I right have on. a video. Right on. Should we try a video? No, 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 no. Don't give him any no, hints. No, no hints. Come on. Okay. These guys are big dick bandits. They, they don't need hints. They, they, they got this. China. <laughs> Rubber jaw with a, with a, with a win. Much of our pilot combat. No hints. No Jonathan. We go raw dog, baby. Montoya. Yes. Yes. Erica Montoya. That. Who got that? Oh, Michael Smith. Michael man. Smith, baby. My boy. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. High five, motherfucker. Good job. Look at that. Outstanding. Erica Montoya was the very first female that was supposed to fight in the UFC. Very, very prominent grappler. And she was in UFC Sudden Impact. Came out October 2004 on PlayStation 2. Michael Smith, a fucking genius. Big dick bandit. You see these? These are the size of your ball, sir. Well done. Well played. Outstanding, sir. Great work. Does like anybody know uh, who her trainer was? There. No. Guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. I won't. I won't. You guys, uh, you guys can give it a guess. Give it a gander as we go to the next fight of the evening. Everyone's saying Misha. <laughs> Nah, it wasn't Misha, guys. It wasn't Misha. There was actually a very good uh, fight promotion. I want you guys to look it up. It's called Smack Girl. It happened in Japan. Uh, before Strike Force and UFC went on the female fighting bandwagon, uh, Smack Girl was the most prominent place for, uh, for uh, female mixed martial arts. 
And I, you know, I used to tape trade my entire life. I mean, I'm visiting my sister right now and, uh, you know, impromptu broadcasting, but my mom had a plethora of VHS tapes. Smack Girl was where it was at, and it was female fighting before female uh, fighting happened. So, Rim Regina had that show too. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, that main event happened, uh, Cyborg versus Gina Carano. Uh, it was, uh, fuck if I forget the it might have been May 2009 or June 2009. Cyborg fighting against Gina Carano was the very first uh, female uh, title fight to main event in North America. It happened in Strike Force. Really good fight. Really good event, too, as a whole. And speaking of holes, I didn't know I was going to go with that. Sorry, guys. So we go to the, next, the next fight, uh, I right now am paying attention to the stats brought to you by our good friends at ESPN. Uh, Dan landing 14 out of 31 strikes. Uh, Nate landing 6 out of 21 strikes. Uh, Nate already went for two takedown attempts. Both got stuffed. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. So for fairly even first round between both these guys, kind of a feeling out process, computing the data, trying to use that measuring stick, trying to gauge a range. Yeah, very competitive fight. And this is going to be the recurring theme of the entire evening where it's just going to be competitive fights all day long, baby. And I, I, I said it once and I'll say it again. This was a very, very underrated fight card. It did not get nearly as much press as it deserved for Amanda Nunes, one of the greatest female fighters of all time. Oh, that's a good comment. Good comment. Who misses the good old bully beat down at MTV with Mayhem Miller? Jason Mayhem Miller used to train with Team Punishment. Uh, he, 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 you could see him backstage, and there was old photos, too, of... Jason Mayhem Miller backstage with uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson, Tito Ortiz, as far back as 2001. And uh, Jason Mayhem Miller, you know, he was uh, always an entertaining cat, super entertaining cat. Uh, really, really ahead of his time as far as uh, a marketer, like a big presence uh, that was able to cross over to the mainstream. You know, very, very seldomly did anybody make that crossover to the mainstream pop culture. Maybe Bob the Beast sat when he was in Pride. He landed on the cover of uh, Times Magazine. Did an interview with Jay Leno when he was over smashing uh, tiny little Japs. <laughs> when when uh, K1 and Pride were having their co-events. The fuck is this? Taja, get, get lost, nerd. Beat it. We're talking MMA. You can't keep up, sir. Get the fuck out of here. The adults are talking. Beat it. Anywho, so... Yeah, the mainstream stars were very few and far in between. And, and Bob the Beast sat landing on the, the Times Magazine. He was on Jay Leno. Uh, Jason Mayhem Muller was that guy to cross over. Uh, Mayhem, oh, that's, a, that's a very good question. And it's a very sad story with Mayhem. I, I think uh, with mental health, it, it really got to him. You know, it. Yeah, he. Uh, I think he was arrested lately. I think the producer can actually um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but he did... Uh, yeah, and uh, I, I, I wish him well. I hope everything goes well with him. And, uh, you know, he, it's very, very tough. He was at the very beginning days of the sport. He fought wars. He fought against GSP. He fought against fucking Jake Shields. He fought against the who's who. You know, you take that much damage in your career and you fight all over the planet, you know, you're, you're bound to, you know, <laughs> take a few to the head. So I, I hope everything goes well with him. He's... Uh, I, I never had a run with him, but uh, I, I've heard some very, very good stories about him. You know, it's just mental health, man. It happens. We're all yeah, fucking human, right? He would give us some good interviews back in the day. He was a he was a fun guy. Super, super personable. And I actually knew w one guy that was a developer and engineer on EA Sports MMA who uh, worked with Jason Mayhem Miller. And it was like on the motion capture or something like that, or it was on the stats or getting some of his advice and he was so hands-on and he was so personable like you gotta you gotta respect him for doing that and especially you know ea sports they have their own they have their own initiative they want to make money from the product that they're producing so they don't know dick about the sport and this was ea sports the same promotion that said i will never do a mixed martial arts game you gotta figure ufc was under the confines of um uh, a couple of different uh, uh, brands, but you know, THQ had pride, you know, and THQ also had uh, UFC and, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of crazy because EA Sports, who did not know much about the sport, gave it so much shit and said it would never do a game. But alas, EA Sports decided to uh, jump on that bandwagon and Jason Mayhem Miller was happy to comply and help, happy to help. Shout out to Spencer King Fisher, 
from uh, No Jonathan. Yeah, Jason has some mental problems, but dude is still crazy awesome. Yeah, I have to agree with you, man. I, I think he's crazy awesome, and I hope all is well, and I hope everything goes well with his coaching. I think his last fight, he came in heavy. Um, but yeah, shout out, to, shout out to him. UFC Undisputed 3, I still think was better than EA ones. I, I, liked, uh, I liked UFC Undisputed 3. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, that's the one that had the Pride Mode 2, if I'm not mistaken. And I thought Pride, I, I, I used to import uh, Pride Grand Prix uh, 2003 on PlayStation 2. And I also had uh, the Pride SC, the original video game uh, for PlayStation 2. Bo both great games, outstanding games. One was produced by uh, THQ and one was one I had to import from Japan was actually produced by uh, uh, Capcom. So, little uh, factoid. <laughs> You're going to learn something new during the course of this uh, podcast. Uh, not that podcast, but this broadcast this uh, this coverage of uh, UFC 289. You're going to learn something new, I promise. Yeah, it had pride. Yep, yep. UFC uh, Undisputed 3 had the, the pride mode, which was uh, super cool. And I always uh, thought pride was the, the best. Gay is definitely beating underwear, in my opinion. <laughs> That's great. Was fun to cock her, soccer kick Brock's head with Mir. <laughs> I, that's not the first time I've heard that, my friend. Not the first time I heard that. As we go uh, to uh, the second round of Dan <laughs> fighting Nate, we just went through an MMA wormhole. I apologize that, for that, guys. Uh, right now, as far as percentages are concerned, I have uh, Dan up. Uh, one round to Nada as uh, we are three minutes deep into the second round. Uh, also, Nate has uh, three takedown attempts. All three got stuffed. Yeah, I got Dan as well. Our boy Cotton Weaver says that uh, Dan is winning one round to zero. I wasn't paying attention because I was fucking nerding out with all you guys, so... I uh, missed it. Thank you, uh, Cotton Weaver. How's this dude named Cotton? Cotton, you uh, care to elaborate why your name's named Cotton? You can elaborate. You can tell us. We're all friends here. How's it not Cotton? Ooh, that was a good one. I'm going to have a fight breakout. Yo, Cotton said that you're a bitch. No, then, Jonathan. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Try to start a fight in uh, the comment section. Sorry about that, guys. I was kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I promise. Touche. How isn't it? How isn't it? I can't even pronounce it tonight. Sorry, guys. Nice right to the head. Nice strikes. Both being exchanged from both fighters, both competitors. As we are about to conclude the second round. The Oliveira match start. Not yet, brother. We, uh, we are only uh, two fights deep. This is going to be the second fight between Dan and Nate. And speaking of streams, I'm going to have to take a bathroom break before I entertain all my bros and hoes in different area codes. So we'll wait until after this fight, and then I'm going to give you a real live stream if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, producer. I'm going to bring this shit into the bathroom. I'm going to give these people a real live stream. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, producer. I'm going to whip it out. Just whip it out in front of everybody. So everybody what a real man looks like, you know what I'm saying? My name's Cotton, a substitute teacher in fourth grade. Mispronounce, been my nickname. You calm down. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Oh, now he's on top. Up, oh, trying to uh, scramble, trying to get back to his feet. Nate trying to get back to his feet as we conclude round number two. Great, uh, great second round for Dan. I'm going to have it two rounds to zero. Okay, brother, can't wait for the Oliveira match. Me too, man. I, I can't wait. Charles Oliveira, listen, he's, in my book, he's always going to be the original dick, Big Dick Bandit. He's always puts on exciting fights. He's always going to be in the higher echelons of the division. He is a, 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 a fan favorite he, through and through. I, I believe he might be at the twilight of his career. He He's seen better days. However, he's always put on exciting fights, always an entertaining fighter to watch. Uh, my heart's going with Charles Oliveira. Hopefully he can get it done. Uh, but if he does, I understand too because uh, his opponent's uh, no no joke. As so we're gonna go to the third and final round, I have Dan up two rounds to zero. And if you look at the copy stats, brought to you by our good friends at ESPN, 
ESPN. I love saying that ESPN 64 to 132 total strikes. Uh, Nate 36 out of 120 strikes. Uh, Nate also went for three takedowns and all three got stopped like my ex-girlfriend. Where, where's the honk? Where's the padum? Come on, producer. Come on. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Come on. Be on your A-game. Come on, producer. Produce. And we go to round number three. Oh, Duck's right under. Now Nate. Now Nate is starting to get uh starting to get loose. He knows he's down two rounds to zero. He's gonna have to go for the home run pitch. Now he's gonna be the aggressor, starting to close the distance. Oh, and he complies and fire Dan fires right back with a right and backs him right up. You must have dated the same woman. But um, Cotton Weaver is winning the night. We gotta give him a fucking prize, please. Producer man, send that man a prize. Along with uh, our good friend Michael Smith, who uh, guessed uh, guessed the uh, name correctly from my little challenge, my Pepsi challenge. Still sides each other Wait, up. Who, Nobody really what went prize for to who besides Michael Smith. Uh Cotton Weaver for being the man. Maybe maybe a, a shirt we can send his way. Give him the one you're wearing right now. That one looks pretty good. True. I'm gonna take it off in just a little bit, guys. It... So we get up to 500 or a thousand. What I'll do is I'm gonna whip it out. Just whip it out. You know what I'm saying? Get this, get this entire fucking coverage taken off the air. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna whip it out. Nevertheless, we are <laughs> round number three. Three minutes and 32 seconds left, or 23 seconds left, rather. Now Dan's starting to back up Nate. Nate fired. Guns blazing at the beginning of the round. Obviously, when you're down two rounds, <laughs> two rounds to zero, you're you're gonna have to go for broke. You're gonna have to fire at will, go for that home run. And Nate tried at the beginning of the round, but Dan, once again, Dan keeping composed. Now starting with the leg kicks, now aiming for the leg. And if you look at these stats, man, 74 to 51, Dan is just dominating the stand-up game. I mean. Control, 22 seconds to uh, Nate's zero. Nate's going to have to do something drastic. Landed a nice 1-2. A nice 2-1, rather, from uh, Nate. Goes for a leg kick. Nails it. Now Dan's starting to back up. Now Nate is starting to back up Dan. Fires that jab. Nice keep kick to the body. Front kick to the body. Up. Oh, Dan lands a jab of his own. Lands another jab, gives him something to think about. Goes for a flying knee, almost lands that. Holy Santa Claus, shit, almost landed that. But Dan backs him up against the cage. And now all he has to do is just maybe stall for time. That's not fair. <laughs> we love you too, Nathan. No, 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 Nathan. No, Jathan. I, I can't pronounce your screen name, brother. But don't feel bad because I can't pronounce last names either. I am that retarded. Oh, backs him up. Now, and now we're going to go to Dirty Box, and now he's going to body clinch. Now they're going to hand fight. Dan disengages, gets off the cage. Now they go to the center of the off gun. Fires that jab again. Fires a jab to the body. Changing levels. Gives him something to think about. Goes for a uh, high kick. Goes for a spinning kick. Oh, Nate's starting to throw some uh, spinning shit at him. Impressive. Impressive. You're gonna have to go for broke. You're gonna have to try some things, man. You got you have to set up your shots. This background sucks. Producer, can we change it to a woman with big titties? For the producer? Can, can we do that? I was gonna say a lady something with big inappropriate, titties. but lady with big titties, come on. Let's change the background for like get give Nordathan, give the, the folks something they want to see, man. Show show those titties, man. Come on. Come on. Change the background. Come on. The crowd demands it. And by the way, everybody, if you're watching at home, leave where you're watching from so I can give you a, a shout out and sing your praises live during this coverage of UFC 289. Okay, I, I, I got some, uh, I got some, uh, f some big titties coming here. Yeah, big titties. Come on, let me see. Okay, are you, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. I'm ready for big titties. Okay, are you sure you're ready? I'm absolutely ready. Okay, who what? Let's hey, see. Okay, let's see. see what's going on, who, brother. Who the first person is who can name these big titties? 
Oh, we're gonna we're gonna play that. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, that's cheap. That's bullshit. Was that a, was that a cheap move? Come on, who who can name? Can somebody get this producer these, a spoon so he can eat my ass? These, Terrible. These get big the, titties get that, here. Get Butterbean off the screen, sir. We asked for titties, not oh, Butterbean. Oh, the wrong the wrong titties. Okay, I'm sorry. Sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Unbelievable. Cab on representing Texas. What's going on, baby? Longhorns, baby. Everything's bigger in Texas. There we including go. Including my ex-girlfriend. She's a fat motherfucker. Curtis Peacock. He's the first one to get. Oh, Cotton was. Cotton, then Curtis came in. Cotton, Cotton. Edging yeah, out. Curtis, uh, Curtis Peacock came in with Butterbean. Cotton well actually well beat him here. out by one. And we are going to the judge's decision. God, I love the fucking people in the comments. Big Money and uh, 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 Dono, Daniel Tice. Yeah, I, I'm i going to have to go with uh, Dan winning this fight by unanimous decision. Floors him once. Knocked him to the deck. And I'm going to have to go with Dan. What do you think, producer? I'm still thinking about Butterbean. Rest in peace, Joe Rogan. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace, by the way. Joe Rogan unfortunately died. Rest in peace. Good sir. Yo, if you go on... If anyone is... By the way... And I shouldn't be suggesting this because of the work done with the UFC or anything like that. But please go to UFC shit posting on Facebook. It is quite possibly the greatest MMA group of all time. It's just trolls all day long. Just trolls. It's my favorite place in the world. Seriously. Rest in peace, Joe Rogan. Let us all say a prayer for our good friend Joe Rogan. Um, dear Heavenly Father, dear baby Jesus, and Cotton Weaver. Let's say a prayer to the. We need to we need to cut cut our boy out there. Come on. <laughs> and we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. Obviously, Dan's going to win this fight, and he does win by unanimous decision. Now, guys, get ready for the real live stream because I'm going to take this bitch into the bathroom, and you're going to see a real live stream. Are you ready? Tell me you're ready for the real live stream, the real main event. Come on, Crickets. producer. Are you ready? Crickets. I'm going to get this whole shit taken down. Are you ready, producer? Are you ready for the real live stream? No? All right, fair enough. Well, all my bros and hoes in different air codes with swung lip nodes and tiny chodes, I'm going to go take a brief, brief bathroom break, and I'm going to be RB and be right back with you for the last three fights of the evening. Don't go anywhere. Stick right here. Troll on the comments. Leave some comments. I'm going to come back and read them. We're going to rapid fire, baby. Especially during the, in the, between the fights. Turns out Elk Rogan choked on, had already recently done DMT. Ah, yes, 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 Cotton Weaver. Cotton Weaver with the facts, son. All right, so I'm going to be right back, boys and girls, and we will see you in a bit.
I All right, guys, while we're waiting, we have another uh, contest here for you. If you, the first person, I got another 10 bucks for the first person that can uh, get who this next, uh, this video I'm going to throw up of, uh, of a fighter. And oh, we got, uh, got our boy coming back on here. We'll still do this. Where's Potter at? Hey, Potter. So What's going on, everybody? I'm going to do one more contest. Never I have another 10 bucks to burn. Oh, and, nice. Uh, Very nice. So, are we going to uh, uh, do another uh, nerd fact that they have to guess? Yeah, I'm going to see if they, whoever can, can guess who, the, who this fighter is of the video I'm going to throw up. Fair enough. All I right. got another fact for you, are Scott. You guys, oh, you do? Yeah, I got another fact for you. What's the, what's the fact? When did, by when the way, did, by the way, Michael Smith just uh, email Scott Peterson, and yes, uh, sir. and we'll get that all set up to get you your prize. Fair okay, enough. Get, but so I want to throw up this video. I want to throw up this video. All right, please do. The throw first, up that video, sir. The first person that can guess in the chat who this is. All right. Here we go. Do it. Oh, man. I want to say it so bad. Yeah, don't say it. Don't say it. I want to say it so fucking bad. That's uh, oh, the late, great Ryan Bennett interviewing him. One of yep. our old interviews. He was one of the best. Holy shit. I have I have a funny story of, of him fighting over in Pride. Well, We'll, uh, we'll talk off camera. <laughs> <laughs> come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come up with who this uh, this. Please, you guys is. know this. Come on. Come on, you big dick bands. Come on, you guys know this. Should we, should we give them give a, a, a hint? Yeah, throw him a hint. Throw him a, a hint. hint. Was, wasn't he kind of like at one point uh, monikered as a, a Gracie killer? 
think he was. He's... Debatable. I mean, he was no Kazushi Sakuraba, but I'm also the biggest fucking nut hugger of Kazushi Sakuraba. So I remember, he was no uh, Kazushi Sakuraba, I'll tell you that much. I remember, uh, I think it was Full Contact Fighter when they used to have their uh, paper magazine. Yeah, they Jersey had a great Killer. magazine. They also had a great website, too. Yeah. Just saying. Come on, guys. You guys know this. It's not Mirko Cop. <laughs> it's, no, it's good, not, good guess, Tom. Good, not boss. Good guess. It's not boss. Not, <laughs> not Crow Cop. <laughs> Fucking trolls in the comments. I love it. Is this went from six to midnight? All you trolls? Oh, my God. Yo, God sucks. <laughs> <laughs> People are talking... Yo, no, no, Nathan and fucking and Cotton Weaver are the two MVPs of the evening. I'm their biggest fans right now. Oh man, just nobody, say nobody has. Let me see if I have a Brock Lesnar. <laughs> it's gotta be Kimbo Slice, bro. It's gotta be Fedor. Is it Fedor? All right, wrong answers only. Who is this guy? Is... Oh man, come on, guys. You guys know this. Come on. Ah, uh, this is the great thing about a video. It's like people can't can't cheat on the video. They don't. They don't have the AI. Wait, time called him AI the Brazilian to... killer. Not Frank Mir. Do you want to give him hey, any more face. hints? Then at one point in time they called him the Brazilian killer. He fought in WEC. Yeah, little brother. He fought in WEC. He fought in Pride. Yep. Yep. Come on, you guys know this. Come on, you you guys know who this guy is. Should we should we give him Scott? You're hey, fuck face. Yes. Wait, fuck face. Didn't they at one point in time call him the Brazilian Killer? That's what it maybe was instead of the Gracie Killer. It might have been the Brazilian Killer. Yeah. Uh, he had a uh, he had a run in with one of the greatest fighters of all time. That's my last hint. I'm gonna drop for you guys. Come on, you nerds! You guys know this. I promise you. You guys know this. It's not Duffy. No, no, no. Please, guys, come on. Someone, someone's gotta know this. Who's gonna win the bag? Who's gonna guess? Brazilian killer. Fought one of the greatest fighters of all time. Fought in Pride WEC. Yes! Come on! Last name, Cotton. Thank you! Oh! TJ, Alex Stabling. TJ gets it. Alex Stabling. $10. Well done. Well played, e sir. Email me, Scott Peterson. We'll get you hooked up. Jocko said, Bon Delay Silva. You want it now? Dude, that's the greatest meme of all time. Want it now? Did you ever see those memes? Greatest memes of all time. Michael <laughs> Shackleford, Kazushi Sakuraba. Listen, I'm the gr biggest Kazushi Sakuraba and Takata Dojo nut hugger of all time. That was like my hero growing up, was Kazushi Sakuraba. Can't oh, look yeah. at close. You want it now? You want it? No, right now. Right now. You want it now. Dude, that's the greatest fucking meme. If there was ever an MMA meme that I celebrate, like the second coming of Christ. It is wanna now. Scott, are you familiar with the wanna now meme? Uh, oh, I was just wanting to bring that. Oh, there's your boy right there. Oh, there's my, oh, it just went from six to midnight. Oh. I, I, feel, I filmed this in uh, in Japan. Oh, man. Next oh, to man. greatness. I'm harder than uh, quadrant physics right now. Oh, my God. Look at the hero. Look at this legend. The greatest fighter of all time. Kazushi Sakuraba. I need not seen him cracked by crow cop or tapped by Japanese names. True, very true. Cat Kazmat versus Pereira. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. Ha Kazmat. I love when T Ortiz tries uh, pronouncing. By the way, I just uh, Scott, did you see the video I sent you about T Ortiz's uh, T Ortiz's uh, greatest hits with I, interviews? I, I have not. I have not. I, I was. Oh, I was, it's great, man. It's great. Driving. T. Ortiz is my uh, my favorite interviewer of all time. Him, him, and Stephen Hawking are probably my two favorite interviewers <laughs> of all time. You know Stephen Hawking to go like, hello, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> like literally, those are my two favorite interviewers of all time. Stephen Hawking and T. Ortiz. Just oh saying, for the record. 
So inappropriate. So inappropriate. Hello, Scott. Hello, MMA Weekly. <laughs> Come on. Tito Ortiz, I want to see... I if, if I could go back in time, I want to see a promo battle in the middle of the octagon between Stephen Hawking and Tito Ortiz. Tito, you have a big pussy. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be great. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait for the online stream. I'll give you a stream. Next time I go to the bathroom, I'm going to give you a big stream. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> as, we go, as we go to the next fight of the evening, Malat fighting Fujit. And I pronounced their last names correctly. It's a fucking Christmas miracle. <laughs> and uh, Fujit is actually uh, nine wins, three losses. To uh, Malat is nine wins, one loss. Nine wins, one loss, and uh, one no contest. Who is this D bag? Um, it's the person that is going to be fucking your mother later. I'm actually in her basement right now. I'm gonna turn off the Wi-Fi if you don't cut the shit, my friend. I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> Ryan Thomas, I see you, baby. Mm, that's right. Your future stepdad. That's who this D-bag is. That's right. Go get a spoon so I can eat your mom's ass. And tell me what color she, is her panties right now. Do it. You're going to be banned from this channel. And the pleasure of hearing me talk about fights. Frank Shamrock and Rook Rock, uh, Rockhold arguing with each other. Oh, that will be another good one. We're going to Eiffel Tower his mother. Bro, tag me in. Thomas Hamlin says blue. So, uh, everybody, I want you in the comments to guess Ryan Thomas's mom's panties. Right answers win. And, Ryan Thomas, you be the judge. you got to ask her, please. Well, actually, I know the answer. And, Ryan Thomas, I think you do too, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> ah, what a nerd. What a loser. Everyone point a laugh at Ryan Thomas. What a nerd. <laughs> I just listened to you speak for two minutes, and I don't think anyone... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Anyone with a fifth grade education is finding where I'm at. Uh, okay. All right, so Seth says that Ryan Thomas' mom's panties is white with a red stain. Your shirt looks like I smell like Forever 21. That's great. Yo, what's up? First time here. What's up, G-Ocean? Cheetah Print. Oh, Jacko had a very good guess for Tom Ryan Thomas' mom's panties. Cheetah Print. It, it, it's just tie a knot. Jocko is laughing. Don't laugh. Come on. Of course you wanted to hear his voice for two minutes. Yeah, I know. He did. Ryan Thomas. Don't worry, brother. I love trolls, too. And by the way, go on UFC shit postings, my favorite website of all time. That entire group, it's like 13,000 trolls just trolling each other. Greatest website of all time. Just saying. You want it now? You want it now? Got that LeBron haircut. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I don't have a hairline. I have a big dick. You got to ask your girlfriend. Ooh, or your sister is with the zing. Oh, my God. I'm on fire today. Trapper Keeper, what's up, baby? How you doing? Derek Serrano, can we talk UFC? Absolutely, man. We're going to the next fight of the evening. Good call. All my bros and hoes at the different area codes. Holy five head. Woof. Good one. Good one. I think the color of cellophane from a Paul Mail box. Uh, G Ocean. Uh, last fight, Dan got the win over Nate. As we go uh, to the welterweight division. I am done trolling in the comments. As we uh, go to the third fight of the evening. Oh, God damn it. And uh, Nathan guesses that his mom's panties are brown. Great guess. Great guess. Goes for a high kick. Gets right out of dodge from a lot. You're a good stream. I'm going to show you a good stream. When I piss all over the stream, I'm going to bring this into the bathroom right when we're done with this fight. I'm telling you, Scott doesn't think so. Scott doesn't think so, but I am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this entire fucking channel down. UFC is gonna fucking sue me. Speak American. What, okay, what, I'm just. What American. did you say? I was gone taking a piss. Wait, what's up? I was gone taking a leak. What was the you, that you said? Uh, G O. No, I'm gonna get your stream shut down when I show my balls. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> waterproof panties. Oh, I, I, I never heard of waterproof panties. Oh, look at this. Oh, checks that kick and then uh, goes for a left. Well done. Malat is going to be in the black shorts. Goes for another high kick again from Fujit and gets right out of dodge. Every single fight. And by the way, in the comments, who do you guys got for this fight between Malat and Fujit? On paper, 9-1 and one 
from a lot. And Fuji is actually nine and three. So very, very even on paper. That's going to be the reoccurring theme. Like I said, I can't say it enough. I'm getting blue in the fucking face as I say this. But, you know, every single fight on paper is completely dead even. Their skill set, their percentages. Smash that like and subscribe, baby. Smash it like I'm going to smash that kid's mom. And literally, if you go down the list, every single fight, even on paper, translates very, very well to the cage. You're not going to get the knockouts and the submissions that everybody knows and loves, but you're going to get very, very competitive fights. And G Ocean says, uh, Fujit by decision. When is Nunez match? Uh, not yet. Th uh, two more fights. Feeling out process be between both of these guys. So far, no knockouts, no submissions the entire night. Again, very, very evenly matched fights. And once again, to all my bros and hoes in different error codes, thank you very much for joining us for the live coverage of UFC 289. And thank you, ESPN, for bringing me all these stats so I don't fuck it up, even though I'm definitely going to mess up last names. Just saying. Just a forewarning. When's the Nunes match in three? How are you? What's going on, Brazil? How you doing, baby? My squatty potty. Nonathan, what's going on? No, Nonathan, you haven't won. So there's an ongoing war in the comments, and you guys can pick sides. Nonathan and Cotton Weaver are right now arguing, and uh, you know they're calling each other a bitch a bunch of times, and I'm kind of entertained by this fight. And a nice takedown by uh, Malat gets that takedown. Riding a little bit high, uh, has an open guard right now, pro possibly setting up Either a triangle choke, maybe uh, getting positioned for a sweep, and goes in the half guard right now. Is that Mike Tyson saying, Jason? Nathan? Hmm. Remember the main. What's going on, John Orson? What's up, baby? What's up? Perla de Brazil. What's going on, baby? How you doing? All my favorite fighters coming from Brazil. M greatest Brazilian fighters, by the way. Mario Spiri. Marola Bustamante, who I met and one of the greatest individuals. Can't speak a lick of English, but, but God damn it, do I love Marola Bustamante. Former UFC champion, fought in pride. Fucking uh, Jose Pele. By the way, everybody, after this event, after you turn off UFC 289, look up Jose Pele and the greatness that is Jose Pele, especially if you like Brazilian fighters. Jose Pele was a fucking animal. And look up his fight with, uh, his fights in Japan, or, or Kumsi Kumsa. Like his fights with uh, Dajiro Matsui, his fights with uh, Carlos Newton, both fucking bangers. And also look up his fight fights with uh, Matt Hughes and look up his fight with um, Chuck the Iceman Liddell in Valley Tudo. Hi from Dublin. What's going on, John McDonald? What's going on? Fucking love Dublin. Love Dublin Island, baby. Wilder versus Joshua. Who wins? Vincent, good question. I'm going to have to go with uh, Wilder on that one. What, Dublin? Ohio? <laughs> Charles, Charles won't lose. I hope so, man. I'm really fucking pulling. Malone, what's going on, man? I can't even pronounce your screen name. But, yeah, I'm going to have to pull. Uh, I, I'm definitely pulling for Charles. Uh, Charles has a soft place in my heart, soft place in my balls. And I'm really going to have to go with Charles on this one. Anxiety. Anyone got the stream without someone talking over it? Yeah, I got a stream for you. After this concludes this fight, I'm going to piss over <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not. No, no. I'm not gonna roast him. He's 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 new to the channel. He doesn't know how how we get down. Sorry about that. And I'm about to maybe. What is happening right now? So we concluded the first round of action between Malai and Fujit. I am uh, yeah, pretty even on paper. Uh, goes for one sub attempt for Malai. Uh, if you go down the stats though, striking accuracy. We're gonna go down the stats right now. Brought to you by our good folks at ESPN. Yeah, I'm going to have to – who do you got for the first round? I mean, uh, Fujit has the uh, the striking ac accuracy of 59% uh, to Malat's 46. Uh, takedown average, uh, 4.76 takedowns in comparison to Malat. Or if I'm not reading the right stats, what the fuck is going on? Come on, ESPN, get your shit together. Okay, now we got the stats. All right, sorry about that. Sorry, Charlie. So Malat, uh, 15 out of 31 strikes landed to uh, Fujit. 14 to 32 strikes landed. Uh, and uh, Malat got two takedowns with control uh, control one minute and 19 seconds to, compared to two seconds from Fujit. So obviously uh, uh, round number one is going to have to go with Malat. Tickle Toes will beat you. 
<laughs> that's great. Beautiful place, Ireland. Fuck yeah. Definitely a beautiful place. What's up, man? Thanks for streaming, my guy. No problem, brother. Anytime, Lemon Lime. I'm at McDonald's. I need to watch this shit. <laughs> oh, man. I just had McDonald's with my nephew. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Goes for a kick right to the body. Nice front kick from Malat. Pouring out that measuring stick, keeping him at bay, keeping bad distance. Goes for another high kick. Fujit is throwing that fucking kick. And Fujit right now is taking more shots to the leg than Nancy Kerrigan. Oh, big knockdown! Holy shit! Now goes for a takedown out of desperation. Goes right into a guillotine choke from Malat. Goes right for a guillotine. He's got to push that shoulder into his, uh, going to his side. Tax Gets the tap! Wow! What a submission! Wow! Unbelievable. Malat wins by decision. Hometown boy Mike Malat, thank God I could pronounce his name, gets a fucking outstanding submission. Knocks him down. Fujit goes for a desperation takedown with his head low. Malat wraps him up like a Christmas present. A, a guillotine tighter than my ex-girlfriend. Literally goes down. And Fujit tried to defend by going to his side, which... It's a slippery slope when you do go to your side, considering, you know, once once you get full mount and you crank on that neck from full mount, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, sweet Jesus, doggy style Mary, it was over. That guillotine was tight. Tighter than Tupac and Biggie Small, no, Tupac, Tupac and Suge Knight in 1994. That guillotine was tighter than Tupac and Suge Knight in 94. Holy shit, was that a guillotine. Wow. Wraps up like a Christmas present. Outstanding, outstanding submission. Beautiful submission. And our boy wins by decision. Mike Malat, great submission. What about Jones versus Big Show? Shit. That's a tough one to predict. Booty rash. Ooh, booty rash. Dan Ellsworth with the booty rash. Ooh. Bro, not even showing showing the, the right. I'm out. You didn't pronounce fight right, you fuck. Get the fuck out of here, nerd, before I stuff you in a locker. John Orson, thank God we got that over with quick. That's what she said. Oh, my God. First one of the evening. That's what she said. Put that stank on it. Ooh, dead Ellsworth. Pepsi is the only cola. I'm going to have to agree with you, baby. This stream, this uh, live coverage of UFC 289, it's not brought to you by Pepsi, but it really should be. You know what I'm saying? Just saying, producer. Why hasn't UFC gotten on the Pepsi bandwagon? Just saying. Why haven't, why haven't UFC gotten Pepsi as a sponsor? Just say, Steven Seagal versus Chuck Norris. That would be a great fight. Great fight. <laughs> Jones versus Mike Tyson. Oh, man, these comments are fucking hilarious. And by the way, drop where you're from and where you're watching from so I can give you a shout-out and sing your praises like the second coming of Christ. Viva la Mexico! What's going on, Lopez? Mazan watching from Mexico. What's going on, baby? How you doing? The goal versus Van Damme. Producer. What face? Jerry Garcia. Yes. Who wins? The goal versus Van Damme. Who do you think wins that fight? Hmm. Like right now? Uh, Van Damme. I think he's kept himself into shape. Very true. Very like true. At their, at, their, at their prime? Probably Van Damme. He had better abs. Thank you very much, Santa Claus. <laughs> Hello from Australia, Zuzu. What's going on, baby? How you doing? And big shout out to the producer, Scott, the man, the myth, the legend, the big dick bandit. Scott, thank you very much for uh, producing this wonderful program for all my bros and hoes in different area codes with swollen lip nodes and tiny chodes. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you very much for uh, watching this poor excuse of fight coverage for UFC 289. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. Hi from Kentucky. I love Kentucky. Been to Brainburg, Kentucky. Thomas Hamlin. I fucking love in, Kentucky. Uh, I lived in Pikeville, Kentucky. And Louisville. I love Kentucky, man. I love all the people from Kentucky. My my friend, my boy Cody, shout out to him. He's a prominent fighter from there. Lives in Brainburg, Kentucky. Love it. Chet, is this real? Yes, it is real. Hello from Brazil. Anna, what's going on, baby? How you doing? Did Zogani retire? It's never real. 
<laughs> Yo, I fucking love the trolls in the comment. Keep them coming, baby. Keep them coming. I love trolls. The trolls. And by the way, go on uh, UFC shit posting. Uh, join the Facebook group. At my suggestion, I promise. You're in for a real treat. You'll want to know. Hi from the Carolinas. What's going on, Derek? How you doing, brother? Hi. Hello from Indonesia. Schneider, what's going on? Hey, Cotton. My my name. From is, Indonesia. Middle name is Hi, Anel. You guys will lose. Your middle name's what? Uh, Cotton's middle name's Scott, and so is mine. I go by my middle oh, name. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Well done, sir. Philadelphia birthplace and goddamn civilization. Yep. I hate you guys because I'm a New England Patriots fan. I was uh, bo born flawed, unfortunately. I'm a New England Patriots fan. And you guys text that ass like a debt collector in the Super Bowl of 2018. So I hate you and I love you. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hello from Goratanada. I can't even pronounce that. I'm retarded, but I'm sure your country is awesome. And hello to you. Draxter, hello. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Vincent, hi, John. Are you a Phillies fan? I hope not. <laughs> Snapped, uh, snapped the chili ring. What's going on, Dan Ellsworth? My Taiwan memories. Nunez won, not yet, sir. Zanganu talking on a video day. Sorry, not sure what. Hello from uh, Zambia. What's going on, James? How you doing from uh, Zambia? I'm a, a, a Patriots fan too. Die hard. That's what I'm talking about, Derek. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Ball sports suck, like face punching. Yeah, John, you know what? You can play every sport with one ball, but combat sports takes two. I have to agree with you, baby. Thomas Hamlin, bad. Yeah. It applied toilet paper when you blow your back to the backpipes too hard. Yo, Cotton Weaver is the MVP. Let's get Mac Jones in here. Fuck yeah, man. I hope the Patriots have a killer season. We need it, man. We had Cam Newton for a year. That's like war torture. That's like having ice water in hell. Seriously, the Patriots are due for at least a playoff run. Just get me that. I'll sell my soul to the, whose dick do I have to suck to get a Patriots playoff run? Sweet Jesus and Doggy Style Mary, who do I have to kill to get a Patriots playoff run? Just saying. As we prepare for the co-main event of the evening, Alvera taking on Dorush. And by the way, before we get to uh, the co-main event of the evening, I'm going to take a little bit of a bathroom break. and. Produced a real live stream, if you know what I'm saying, Ronald Reagan. You, you need to stop and I will be back. Pepsi. No more Pepsi for you. Why doesn't UFC spot get sponsored by Pepsi? I mean, this is the real beverage. You know what I'm saying? You lasted one freaking fight. You just went piss. And you lasted what? What's wrong with your bladder? Scott, one more comment from you, sir. I'm going to piss live in the stream. I'm going to whip it out. Do you want me to? I'll do it. I'll do it, man. You want me to? Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't want to see what a real man looks like, Scott. That's what I'm talking about. Watch your mouth. That's right. Everybody tell him to lay off the drinking. I, 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 dude, it takes a lot to talk to you, all these beautiful big dick bandits in this chat. You know, it, I got I, I got, you know, I got rest these vocal cords, baby. Swing the, sing the sweet songs of my people. Mixed martial arts, baby. You know, it hurts the both okay, boards. That means I got to come up with another, uh, well, in between fights, I need to come up with another prize. All right, you uh, nerd, you do that. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, the first person, the first person to guess this. $10. $10. You got to guess who this fighter is. The first one in the chat room to do that. And we're going back. We're going back a little ways. And here we go. Who can guess this? And whoever wins needs to uh, email me. For the third, maybe the last, the last, uh, the last prize, the last contest. This is back from Pride Bushido. Who is that? Yes, that is the question. The first person to get that will get 10 bucks out of my pocket.
going back to Pride Bushido, which uh, Pride Bushido is it? <laughs> Nick Diaz? No, not Nick Diaz. I could tell you which Pride Bushido, but that would make it too easy. That's that's a big uh, that's a big hint. Almost looks like a young Machida, but not. Not Joe Frazier. <laughs> Almost looks like Dariusha's brother. Conor McGregor wishes this was him. Guys, do you like, uh, do you guys like the... And here comes Dave again. Come on, guys. You guys can get this. Come they on, guys. Still, this is an easy one. They still haven't guessed it yet. And I, they I haven't guessed it yet? Him, I, I even told them uh, it's a Pride Bushido. Pride Bushido. Come on, you queefers. Come on. Queef out something. Come on. You guys... You guys know this. I promise you, you know this. Pride Bushido. Man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome. Man. Hi from Mexico. Jake Paul. Oh, that's a good guess. Brent P. Jackson, obviously, from Cullen. <laughs> Hello from best place around the world, Mexico. What's going on from Mexico? Joey Diaz, 40 years younger, and minus 100 pounds. Ryan Garcia. Gilbert Burns, all good guys. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of similarities. I mean, a lot of similarities. The answer is Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> <laughs> Butterbean, oh dud. Darius has a big chance to upset, 100. percent Yeah, he does. He does. I'm gonna have to go with uh, Alvera. I hope Alvera can pull it off. Oh, five dollars from the Phillies Ace. Thank you very much for five dollars. Five dollars! Holy shit, my boy! Well done, well played. Eagles had to uh, avenge from McNabb choking the first Super Bowl, so I'm not sorry. Oh, he's talking shit about the Patriots, isn't he? Uh, refund this man's five dollars. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Unbelievable. You pay five dollars to troll my, my 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 ass, my Patriots loving ass. Come on, man! But thank you very much for the five dollars. And uh, yeah, I, I, Eagles are a tough team. They're gonna be a tough team to beat, especially next year with that QB who's a fucking savage. Vitor Belford? No, it's not Vitor Belford. <laughs> Mataro Nogueira? No. Belford Silva? Julio Cesar Chavez? Oh no, it's not him either. Do you know who it is? Yes, you fought for Brazilian top team. Wow. I mean, yep. it says it right there on the shirt, which team he's from. The guy should be able to get that. Oh, it's on his shirt. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's on his shirt. <laughs> Captain Obby's over here. I didn't notice it either. It yes, I'm a Red Sox it. fan too, unfortunately. That green monster gets taller and taller every year. John Orson asks, what part of Philly are you from? I give the refund to him <laughs> from Bill of Faith. Holy shit. How about Patriots versus Eagles game one and Tom Brady will be there? Yeah, that's right. Tom Brady comes back for one game. Fuck yeah, man. Give him a, give him a good send off. You guys train? Uh, I used to, but now I'm old as fuck. But I, I go on the mats every, every once in so often. C3 and C4 is pretty bad, you know? I've wrestled my entire life. You know, I, I've been a wrestler since I escaped the womb. Been an, an MMA fan since I escaped the womb. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm an old man. You know what I'm saying? I look like a I might look like a cabbage patch kid on growth hormones, but nevertheless, I'm a I'm a old 36 years old. So unfortunately, uh, my competing days and those days are over. Do you want to tell them who it was? Where we're gonna to have to end that contest and get to the. Uh, you Mary could tell. Darius. Louis Biscape. That was from uh, Pride uh, Bushido Four. Mm. Bushido had some great events. They had some fucking bangers. I remember the super rookie Kazuhiro uh, Hamanaka, who uh, he beat Elvis 
Elvis, when he started training with, uh, he switched from Brazilian top team, started training with uh, Shooter Box. Uh, he avenged Kazushi Sakuraba. This was like 2003. And he fought High and Gracie at a Bushido event. I think it was October 2003. And Hamanaka had like a leg injury. But Hamanaka, Kazuhiro, if he trained a little bit more, if he uh, dedicated himself a little bit more to the craft, he could have been he could have been a big deal. He was a very, very good wrestler, especially in Japan. High and Gracie, he was he was a you're, crazy dude, bro. He was a crazy dude. God bless his soul. You, you are a seriously fucking funny. Thank you very much, Bill Faith. I appreciate it, sir, ma'am. Yeah, it's a ma'am, right? I hope so. If I fucked that up, I'm so sorry. Judo versus wrestling. Who wins? Uh, hmm. I, I'm a wrestler, so I'm gonna have to say wrestling. Damn, is the co-main ever gonna start? Yep, it's starting right now. Charles Oliveira making his way to the cage. Wrestling usually. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with wrestling. Where can I watch? By ordering it on ESPN. I'm not going to give you... Dude, come on. I'm not going to give you a fucking uh, illegal streams. Come on, baby. The way illegal stream I'm going to do is when I whip it out and take a piss in front of all of you. We are... Yeah. Fun. Yeah, Firmino. He also went by Louis Firmino. That is true, Joey. But we already gave the answer. Louis <laughs> Viscopi. Or Louis... I would have taken that too, Firmino. But, yeah. <laughs> it's great. But it was too late. We ended the contest. Joey, you'll, you you got to get it quicker next time. Sorry, Joey. Sorry, brother. But thanks for joining us. All my bros and hoes in different area codes with swollen lip nose and tiny chones. This is David Potter, the big dick bandit of all of MMA. Add me on Instagram, David Potter. I j -j 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 -g. Yeah. How was that plug? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to plug up someone's girl tonight. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Just joking. Just joking. Super chat. Much respect to you. I have been to Boston just trolling, but I did like Drew Bledsoe. If that makes you feel a little bit better. Flyers, flyers coming from 0-3. That's fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you very much, brother, for another $5 to Philly's ace, the real legend of the chat, donating $5 to the calls. Thank you very much, brother. Who thinks Dorish is going to win? I, 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 I'm a... I'm a Charles Oliveira faithful, and I think uh, he's a fan favorite at this point. He's He's got that Ric Flair where it doesn't matter if he wins or loses. You know, people are always going to stick by him and stand by him. So, yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to have to go with uh, Charles Oliveira. Is this a live reaction? Uh, yeah, this is going to be a live play-by-play, -play, and also I'm going to give you all of the full fight stats brought to you by our good folks at ESPN. So, yeah. Charles Oliveira, 33 years old, but he's fought through some fucking wars. 33 and 9. Yeah, you, you, you got 43 fights in the bag. You know, you, you, you tend to take some damage. But they're in th being a young 33 years old, shit. Taking that many fights, goddamn. And still fighting and competing at the highest level, God bless his heart, man. How do you not like Charles Oliveira? Darish is going to win, Gabe. That's what uh, John Orson predicts. Mike Lass, Oliveira, of course. Uh, Henny says, Charles. Oh, Otani is a legend in the making, while Babe Ruth is already a legend. Ooh, very good. Very nice. Mike Lass by submission. Otani is a bum. Benil, a boring fighter from Sports Story. That's a, that's a good assessment. That's okay. I can respect that. Benil by second round. Everybody throw a like to the fellas. Please do, baby. Please throw a like. Come on. Make it rain, likes. Come on. Make it rain. Let's go, baby. As we go to the co-main event of the evening, thank you, Cotton Weaver. My boy has stayed all throughout this broadcast, all throughout this stream. Even when I took two live streams, if you know what I'm saying, he still stuck by. And we appreciate Cotton Weaver, you big dick bandit. Thank you very much, sir. Both you got both guys are great, but Vanille is the dark horse. Yeah, yeah. He um I believe his record is uh twenty-two and four and one one no contest. Yeah, Benil is gonna Present some challenges for Charles Oliveira. All right, click the like button. That's my boy, Christopher Hudson, you big, dick bandit. I see you, baby. I see you. Look at this guy. Look at this good-looking cat. Thank you very much. Bruce Lee versus Chrissy. <laughs> Let's go, Oliveira, from uh, David De La Cruz. Leighton McGovern. Who do you got winning? I uh, Again, I'm a faithful for uh, Charles Oliveira, just saying. I appreciate it, Bro King Shake. Thank you very much, Leonardo the Cap of Bro. Joseph Grillin asking for the link. I think Charles gets his neck and it's a wrap. No pun intended. <laughs> That's great. Villa is my famous dog. I am Mitchell. Sending mad props. You were awesome. 
and makes this makes this UFC comments fun. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate you. Charles will kill this dude. Massa, goddamn Massachusetts, baby. And they kick things off. You're so interactive. And you're so fucking awesome. So I appreciate you. Pawing, pawing each other out right now. Scott is boring. I have to agree with you. Just kidding. He's my boy. And they wrap it up. Right now they're in the clinch. Duresh backs him up against the cage. Bohemian Rhapsody. Well done. Well done, bro Chacho. And right now they're against the cage right now. Duresh closing the distance. Has him against the cage. Oliveira has a full body lock. Tries to spin him around. And Duresh takes him down to the deck. Duresh is going to be on top. Right now in half guard. Charles Oliveira's half guard. Keep it nice and tight. Keep it tighter than Tupac and Suge Knight in 1994. Trying to pass that guard. Now gets into full guard for Charles Oliveira. Everybody let Boy, us know punches. who you got. Charles or Benil. David Boy Cole, what's going on, Mohammed? How you doing, brother? Salam alaikum. Goes for more ground and pound from Darish. Oh, more ground and pound from Darish. Looking looking to end this fight early. More ground and pound by body head. In Charles full full guard right now. <laughs> Darish is clapping them thick British cheeks. Can we get that comment up by Cole? What a fucking legend. That comment, well done, sir. Darish is clapping them thick British cheeks. Gotta love that comment, baby. Praise, praise be to you, sir. Well done, well played. Miami Dolphins, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> John Horshin just said British. I, I caught that too. <laughs> Come on, it was a troll comment. Come on. Come on, lighten up. Come on, baby. The Russian in Oliveira's full guard right now. Grand pound, body, body, head. I clicked the, I clicked the subscribe button. That's my motherfucker right there. Twisty1008. You put that man, put some respect on that man's name. Producer, where's my boy? Yeah. Twisty1008. You just hit the subscribe button. He just smashed that like a girl on prom weekend. Come on. Oh, my goodness. That's my boy. Thank you, Twisty. I appreciate you. Darish right now still in full guard. Charles Oliveira is trying to create some opportunities. Anyway, Habib will win from Anton. <laughs> if he ever comes out of retirement, that is. I don't give a fuck who wins. That's great. <laughs> fuck this fight. Oh, my God. <laughs> and down those uh, Nadia's. I don't give a fuck who wins. <laughs> oh, and you get back to the feet. Charles Albert lands some knees, pushes him against the cage right now, has a full body lock, has to start utilizing his game with only 1 minute and 13 seconds left. And Duresh is going to win this first round just based on control. And so far, the, the, the percentages of striking, ten, it, it once again, ju judging is per, it, it, perception is reality. Excuse me. Judges, holla, what's going on? Hola, como estas, mi amiga? Goes for a takedown from Duresh. Oliveira spins, gets a, oh, going for a choke. Get, Duresh goes right to his back. Now Oliveira is landing some shots of his own. Oh, more shots to the face of Paris Hilton. Oh my goodness. More shots in the face of Paris Hilton. Oh my goodness. And he stops the fight. Oh, Vero wins this shit. Oh, I'm going to whip it out on camera. Oh! What a fight. What a stoppage. Mother, sweet mother Jesus. And doggy style Mary. Oliveira gets the win. Woo. Scott, you're not my real dad. Don't tell me what to do. That's my motherfucker right there. Charles Oliveira getting the win by stoppage. Goddamn. Fucking awesome. Go check your pants. That's your mom's job. Ooh. Third mom joke of the night. You don't try to troll the king, baby. Don't try to troll the king. Don't make me do the contest of everyone guessing your mom's panties. Don't make me do it to you, sir. I'll do it. 
Don't troll a troll, baby. I'm the original troll. You want it now. Can't let you get too close, baby. And Oliver will win. <laughs> Bella actually did stand-up once, and I got offers ever since to do stand-up, and I refused to. So I stick to the UFC gig with my boys, and I also stick to commentating, announcing, and being the sexiest man in all of combat sports. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? That's right. That's right. Pipe dream right there. Little, little baby muscles. You see that, Scott? That's right. That's right. That's right, Scott. And you may add me, also, government wise, Jim Lotus. <laughs> Game political on there? Fuck yeah. Flat penguins? <laughs> Fucking great. And you guys can add me on Instagram. Follow all my UFC adventures. David Potter IG. Once again, that's David Potter IG if you want to follow the Big Dick Bandit of all of MMA. And also hit like and subscribe. Smash that, smash that subscribe button. Like, you're taking a girl on prom weekend. You know what I'm saying? Just smash, smash that like button. You know? Because one of these, okay? One of these. Uh, one of these. Just smash that like button. You could do it. Put your back into it. Man, what, what a finish. What a stoppage for Charles Oliveira. North Pole, Tree of Life, Jim Lotus. What's going on, baby? How you doing? Flat Earth from Jim Lotus. Game pr predictable. Busted on them. From Jacko. We got a lot of folks on the comments. Got Nunes by submission plus 450. Wow. You like to live dangerously, my friend. Michael Van Der Volt. Submission is uh, a plus 450. Now three guys who already lost to the champ might be next. Maybe. You never know. Jim, what's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Stop being a legend. Stop it, Jim. Stop it. Can you put Jim, put Jim on the comments, please? Jim has, Jim has been posting conspiracy theories all night. Put some respect on that man's name. That's my boy. Earth is flat. Government lies. Fucking awesome. Well done, Jim. You keep those conspiracy theories coming, baby. Flat Earth. That's what I'm talking about. Aldana, you know, don't sleep on Aldana, baby. Like, everyone's overlooking uh, Nunez because everyone wants the trilogy fight to happen. Everyone wants Nunez versus Pena. And they're sleeping on Adana. But Adana, I, when, I, when I talked to her, I said, Adana, what problems, what problems and issues are you going to present to the champion that Pena was not going to? And she just simply said, I'm Mexican. I respect it, you know? She, she's going to present a lot of problems to Nunez. Do not sleep on Adana. Definitely not. Remember to zip it up after you're done. True that, home slice. Flat Earth is not a conspiracy. It is true. <laughs> I'm going to have to... I'm going to have a pulled pork Sammy and a cherry coke to celebrate Charles Big Nuts. <laughs> Can we post that comment, please? Cotton Weaver. With one hell of a comment. I'm going to have to have a pulled pork Sammy and a cherry coke to celebrate Charles Big Nuts. Yes, we all have to celebrate. Can we get a cheers in the comment section? Cheers to Charles Oliveira's big, beautiful nuts. Yes, can we, can we just celebrate those big nuts, please? Well done. Well done, Charles. That's my boy. Well played, sir. Well played. I always thought that Cyborg was the best female fighter. Hmm. Yeah, and then she ran to Nunes. And Nunes uh, proved that theory inaccurate. And uh, Cyborg will always be one of the best. Uh, I was just saying earlier in the program that uh, she was the first female fighter in the United States Strike Force. To, I, I believe it was May or June of 2009. Cyborg fighting Gina Carano in Strike Force. First championship title fight in women's MMA in North America. And I'm not talking about Smack Girl, which was also a very prominent, good promotion in uh, Japan. I am talking about uh, Strike Force North America on Showtime, Cyborg fighting Gina Carano, and she uh, won the first world championship between two female combatants and two female MMA fighters in Strike Force. So, yeah, Cyborg is always going to be up there as greatest female fighters of all time. You know, it's a little bit sketchy when you talk about uh, her being on the juice, but you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. <laughs> you know, how many people went into Japan? How many people fought in fucking Japan, K1, and they were roided to the gills? I don't care if you piss hot oil, baby. It, it, your record still stands. I, I'm sure Vandalay was juiced to the gills. I'm sure 
You know, Mark Kerr, look up the Smashing Machine documentary on HBO. Mark Hill openly took uh, took steroids. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Like, fuck it. You know, like, it happens. USADA is now in the program. Fuck it. Got another person in the comment. Dersh was defeated during Embedded. You could tell he wasn't right for the boogie down Bronx, baby. <laughs> fuck yeah. Gina set the bar for women in UFC. I have to agree with you. Yes, absolutely. Yes, Cyborg is a beast. Fuck yeah. Earth is inside Dark Continent. No fair. She's a cyborg. <laughs> she was also uh, married. Does anyone know the name of the person she was married to who was also a fighter? Who also trained at Shooter Box? And who also looked like Vandal Diet Vandalay Silva? Can I say? I bet people don't know this. They all on steroids. Yeah. Scott Kimberly. Vandalay is cleaner than... Chael Sun, I can't let you get too close, baby. Aliens in Las Vegas. Maybe project Blue Beam. Ah, yes. He still can't beat Islam. All I can do is be the second best. Back of Beyond. What's going on, brother? How you doing? All Yen Bar Bar. Duress. Yo, la mang mang mang. I can't even pronounce it. got it, buddy. Yeah, Cyborg Santos. Well done. Well done, brother. Yeah, can, yeah. We, can we put up Fan Porter? Put up that big dick bandit. I want to see Fan Porter. On that screen, so everyone sees what a legend looks like. This is the pipe dream right here. You wish you were as smart as this motherfucker right here. Van Porter, well done, sir. Well played. Steve Reeves is the best. Charles, what's going on? Oliveira just here to take part. Nah, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I wouldn't say that. Wait, did he just retire? I think he just retired. Well, fuck me in the beard. Goddamn, I'm glad I found your channel. I'm glad I found you, baby. I'm glad I found you, brother. Thanks for tuning in, Mitchell. I appreciate it. Glad you're joining us for the live coverage of UFC 289. Stats brought to you by our good friends at ESPN. And hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate all you guys as we go to uh, the main event of. The evening. I'm David Potter, the big dick bandit of all of mixed martial arts. Follow me on Instagram, if you will. David Potter, I-G. That is I as in India, G as go. Fuck yourself, Scott. Come on, baby. Let's go, main event, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Scott, come on. You laugh at that. Come on, baby. Oh, I, I missed it. I missed it. I was watching the broadcast. I was trying to. Find out why you took Scott, when I, nail, when I nail a good one-liner, Scott, it's your job to laugh at my jokes. Who else is going to do it, Scott? I said, add me on Instagram, David Potter, no relation to Harry, David Potter, I as in India, she as go, fuck yourself, Scott. <laughs> add me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, big shout out, everybody. Give a round of applause to our producer, Scott, the original Big Dick Bandit. No, no applause for that. Maybe a bicycle horn. Jesse, what's going on, brother? Glad I found you. You are as real as they come. You're pretty awesome, dude. No, you're fucking awesome. You were awesome first. Let's go do Bronx. Oliveira is a savage. I think Oliveira just retired in the cage. Regardless, win or lose, Tony needs to retire. It's been over two years. All that talk from Jocko. Let's go to these comments, baby. And drop where you're from. Drop some comments. Trolls are welcome, but I'm going to troll you back. Nevertheless, King Francisco, Brazilian power. Nunez in two rounds. Dan Porter. What's going on, brother? Kevin, I, I, I think Oliveira laid down the gloves, and I think he actually retired. I think Oliveira just called it quits. That's devastating. That's devastating. But So Cotton Weaver said, who you got in the main event, Scott? Uh, Tito Ortiz? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for uh, well, Aldana. I'm going to say Nunez is distracted. I you know, I you know what I don't like I don't like it when people bring their kids with them to fight to fight week I feel like they're not well, how so? concentrating when? I just feel like they're how not uh, concentrating they're not focused I mean that's just me. I mean that's a good point that's just me but you I also that? don't like it when people put their little dogs in uh, the backpacks and carrying them carry them around like human beings oh shit you got to flash that photo look at these <laughs> look, look at this fucking liberal weirdo. Scott, just flash this photo, please, if you will. Oh, the so, oh. so, so Scott took a photo of this fucking weirdo who had a dog in a child like harness carrying around like a child. 
What the what the what the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? Whose man's is this? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. I can't wait for Big Dick DeSantos to change this country where that shit is illegal. Just saying. <laughs> for the record. Flat Earth Power <laughs> from Jim Lotus. That looks so uncomfortable. I know, right? These fucking liberals, man. It's crazy. Killing me. How do you have a dog in a harness? What are you thinking, sir? What are you thinking? Your mom should have swallowed you. Jesus Christ. Keep you a dog in the harness? Shit. Mother of God. Childlike harness. Fucking A. And let's just go in the comments, shall we? Look at all these fucking legends in the comments. All these big dick bandits. Let's go down the list, shall we, if you will. Alpocalypse, what the fuck is that? I asked the same question too. DJ Cheryl, hey, what's going on? How you doing, brother? Richard Jordan, Nunes is a beast, and I've never seen a female fighter with such skills. Again, Nunes in two rounds. Good point, sir. Good point. Okay, uh, Robert Sanchez, man, is going to lose. Hmm, okay, fair enough. And Aladana brings up uh, a fair amount of challenges. So, uh, beast, LOL, from Richard Jordan. What's going on? Uh, Roberto Jr., poor Benny should have fought Islam when he had the chance. Forgotten MMA. I hope Aladana wins. That would be an upset. That would be an upset. And Nunez can't be sleeping on her, can't be overlooking her, thinking about that third penny, uh, penny fight. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Forgotten MMA. I think ben, uh, Benel beats Islam. Hmm. B Boy will smash Amanda two rounds of KO. Nunez for the win for Boom Chukalaka. Uh, Blaze Foster, Nunez for the win. Forgotten MMA, Oliveira versus Islam 2 is a must. I think Oliveira actually retired, man. The champ has a name, and his name is Islam. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Jericho Nunez, America's gonna, a man is going to lose. Biggest upset in female MMA, quite possibly. Quite possibly. But also, you got to figure, too, Holly Holm knocking out Ronda Rousey on paper. And if you didn't do your research, Holly Holm is knocking out Ronda Rousey was considered... If you look at the odds for that fight and go on Schmoogle after you're done with this, uh, with the stream of uh, the UFC 289 uh, coverage, go and look at the odds. And you're thinking in hindsight, what the fuck were people thinking? Odds makers thinking that Ronda Rousey was the second coming of Christ and that Holly Holm was not going to walk her fucking down. And Holly Holm being a champion boxer, holy Santa Claus sh shit. Fuck me in the beard. You have got to be kidding me. If you look at those odds, crazy. That was considered the greatest upset in female MMA. I think Bulk beats Islam from Cotton Weaver. Islam deserves a bacon burger if he wins. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Blaze Foster. Nunez will win. A uh, move on. Is this starting or Nordy? It's starting right now. Indonesia. What's going on? Oyen from Indonesia. What's going on? God of War. Enjoy your... Good game. Amanda may lose. I don't sense the fire in Amanda anymore. She's a family woman now. Okay, that's a good assessment. That, that's actually agreeing with Sky. Am I late? No, you're not, O'Day. You are not late at all. Forgotten MMA. I hope Adana shocks the world. Jesse, I know my girl Amanda is going to win. I want to say I guarantee it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's an upset that the other young lady looks very, very hungry. Yeah, don't sleep out Adana. I have the great Honda Halsey from DJ Cheryl. Well done, sir. Well done. Thanks. I don't follow too much MMA, but I like to see Aldana win. Jesse, oh my god, I'm reading all these fucking comments. Ugh. Uh, let's go, come on. <clears throat> come on, man up, Cream Puff. Amanda dominated Penny in the rematch. What do you mean she lost fire? LOL. Fair point two. John Olsen, Sherry got finished. The Mystique is done. When is the match starting? It's starting right now as uh, Aldana is making her way to the ring as a challenger. Turned up, let's go. Want to see a new Nets get slapped. Let's go, B-boy. What's up, man? Let's see. More comments. More comments. Jocko, high, high school seminar class. Uh, Forgotten MMA. I hope Donna wins. Icy, can you put it on? Absolutely not, sir. We don't pirate over here. You just hear the sweet, sweet sounds of David Potter, the big dick bandit of all of MMA, MMA commentator, and your new best friend. Bob, I'm going to give you stats, I promise. Brought to you by our good friends at ESPN. Glad I found this channel. Yeah, what's up, man? Uh, Dixon Logic, good for you getting all these comments. Props. No, props to you, brother. For making it happen. Can you put that that fucking legend, uh, Dixon Logic producer? Put that put that fucking legend right there, Dixon Logic. Put that fucking legend on the screen. I want everyone to see what a what a legend looks like. Dixon, right there, right there. That's my boy. Look up. When does it start? Right now, Adana's making the entrance. Best live stream. Keep it do going, dog. Daniel Lopez, you're the fucking man. Rob Missouri, did it come out yet? 
Uh, they're coming out right now. And I'm coming just thinking about it, if you know what I'm saying. Right, Scott? You know what I'm saying, you fucking fruitcake. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Flam drag double peladillo. <laughs> Dude, Brox from Mark V. Book it down, Brox, baby. Scott Kim. Yeah, great to commentary here. No, you're great commentary, and your face is too. I see. Do you like uh, Alex? Fuck, I, I can't even pronounce that last name. Sorry, sir. Uh, low cut. Where can we watch it for free? I'm not too sure. Unspoken. Need to run it back again. Yeah. Coach Rogue, is that Bud Light clown fighting in the women's division? <laughs> That's great. Fuck yeah, Coach Rogue. Well done, sir. Well done. America first. Nunez wins by Felicio. <laughs> Yo, I fucking love the trolls, baby. Love the trolls. As above, so below. Ya Peroron Amanda E. Aladana. See. Si. See si, me, amiga. Or amiga. Uh, Jan Depper, Holly got humbled by Amanda. Nodi, when is it starting? It's starting right now. Team Net, and shout out Team Nunez. Much love all the way from New Zealand. What's going on, New Zealand? What's going on, baby? Some of my favorite fighters come from the beautiful country of New Zealand. Fuck yeah, Du Bronx is back. But actually, Jose, he retired. Oliveira took off the gloves, and I think he retired. Please, somebody, Nodi. I think we did a miracle today from Murad. What's going on? Shout out to you. Salam I, I don't think he retired. Uh, I, I think he did. He took off the gloves and he started crying. I don't think he did, though. I don't, I, they would they would have made they would have made more mention of it. I, I don't think he, he did. Dude, he took off the gloves and I think he retired. I shit you not, my friend. Check, check Rewind Twitter. that shit back. Check, Can you give me a confirmation Twitter. in the chat, check please? Twitter real quick. I don't, it'd be on Twitter and I don't think so. All right, look on Twitter. I I, I I I I think I would assume because he was crying, and he He's also an took off the gloves. Dude. He cries. That's like normal for him. Give this man some coke. Dude, Fuck yeah, he Young. Wants, he wants to get his belt back. He's not gonna quit right now. See, Plus, Young Dappen isn't allergic to parties. Can we put out that comment, please? Young Dappen, right there. This is a man. Let me just let me just tell you something. This is a man that's not allergic to parties. Right there. Young Dapper. Give this man some Coke. The only Coke I got is Pepsi right now, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Cyborg versus Mike Tyson, Christopher Hudson. Roberto McGuire in four. Alina Holt. Who? Via Faith. Wants more money. Dude, you're an awesome commentator. No, you were awesome first. Don't don't call me names. This man is drunk. <laughs> nah, unfortunately not, sir. I'm allergic to parties this evening. I am not drunk. Just spending some time in your mom's basement streaming and uh, doing analysis of this fight. Just kidding. Just kidding. You guys by scissoring. <laughs> Julius Hardman, gay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in the comments, can we please guess what color Julius Hardman's panties are? The winning answer gets $10 personally from me. Can we all guess Julius Hardman's Mother's panties. What color? I'm I'm thinking red. What do you think, Julius? Hmm. Yes. Yes. Let me look at the comments. Yellow. Oh yes, Kevin got yellow. Yep. We got red. Bareback. Okay, that's a great guess from Villa. Parlay King Gray. Okay. Hot pink from Thomas Hamlin. Okay, very good. None. Oh, by Gabe. Ooh, red, pink. Commando, okay, very good. God of War, Joy, red. I have a color from Julius. Yes, 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 red. Felicia, okay. I'm going to say purple. Granny white, peach. All right, guys, the correct answer is, let me take them out of my mouth. Oh, ho, 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 just kidding. Just kidding. Shout out to you, Julius. Good sport. Off white. <laughs> Green. <laughs> As the fight begins, a man in Nunez walking to the cage, bareback and orange. Oh my goodness, son. Tut. Flesh. Purple. Purple. The female. Mm. Who won? Blue from Jesse. <laughs> Nunez with Leslie Dawkins. <laughs> Can we put up that comment, please? Nunez by Lesbian Focus. Forgotten MMA. I gotta sniff them first from God of War. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> Can't troll a troll, baby. I love trolls. They're my people. You're singing the songs of my people when you put bad comments 
in that shit. Come on, man. Come on, man. Who you playing with? Come on. Nice Mr. T, T, T starter kit. Yes, Dolvin. Yes, Kareem. Is it from Julius? Got, got her bent over crying yellow it is. <laughs> Blue, I think you know tonight. Oh, Hector, you know what it is, baby. Yes, very homophobic of you <laughs> from John Orson. I'm sure it was a joke. We all love everybody around here. Nunez sniffing Aldana in the way, and you funny as fuck. No, you're funny as fuck. Stop calling me names, sir. From Parlay King 420. You're the man, brother. Brian Witzkowski, lame. Okay, everybody. Brian Witzkowski, let's guess all of his, let's guess his mom's panties. What color are they? For Brian Witzkowski. I'm assuming you're Jewish, sir. Or you're just Russian. Or you're just an asshole. How about you, can someone, someone send me a spoon so I can eat his mom's ass, please? Please. Or his girl's ass. Bro, I'm in your mom's basement right now, son. Okay, I'm going to disconnect the Wi-Fi if you don't shut up. Okay? You cut your shit. You enjoy with the rest of the show. Take a bond hit. Yeah, that's, that's going to be later in the evening, I promise you. On and off white. Candy cane. Ooh, nice. Oh, oh ML. This guy is awesome. No, you were awesome first. Forgotten MMA. Double D's. Crack Joshua. Very nice. Spoon your way. You want it now. She could sell them sweaty draws for bank. Yes, Ash Tory. I agree with you. Bella Faith, color bitter. I'm going to need this guy's social media. You can add me at David Potter IG. David, that is David like Star David. That is Potter, no relation to Harry. And I is in India. And G, go fuck yourself, Scott. <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? Virgin Man 994. You're watching the greatest stream of all time. Besides the stream I'm about to take after this, because I really have to take a piss. But this is the greatest stream you're ever going to watch, baby. This is David Potter, the big dick bandit of all MMA. And by the way, all my bros and hoes in different area codes with swollen limp nodes and tiny chodes, thank you very much for joining us for live coverage of UFC 289 featuring David Potter and the producer Scott. Bro is definitely a virgin. All right, Backlash. Let's guess Backlash's girlfriend's panty color. I'm going to guess, I think, hot pink. Oh, no, I'm going to have to take them out of my mouth first. But let's guess... Yeah, so I'm going to guess hot pink for you. Actually, I guarantee you, you date fat chicks, don't you, bro? I, I know you do. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me, son. How many fat chicks do you think this guy, how many, how many soft sixes do you think that guy has banged in his life? I'm going to guess, like, maybe all of them. But he needs a chill from Skylar. Yo, yo, 2K. I need two takedowns from Nunez. You need to be a comedian. I actually did stand up once. I got offers afterwards. I, I stick to being a commentator. Sick to be an announcer, and I also am, you know, doing the UFC thing, doing uh, doing the traveling circus. Two weeks from now, I'm going to Jacksonville uh, for a UFC uh, fight night. So you're going to get all of my knowledge and be able to pick my brain from uh, UFC in Jacksonville and Florida. Do you ever get JD from NJ NY comparisons? No, not yet. Crack Joshua 4, CC Productions, thanks for streaming too much money for it. <laughs> Who's winning? Uh, we're doing the introductions right now. I got one KO on Aldana. Soft six is from Scott Kimberly. <laughs> Cha choo bro! Kevin, you're a legend. No, Ice, you're a legend. Don't call me names. You're the man. No, 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 no. Don't call me names. You're the man. Skrr! As we do, uh, we are heading towards the main event of the evening. This is my favorite YouTuber now. No, you're my favorite YouTuber. Everyone subscribe. Put up Icy, please. We all need to subscribe to Icy. No, I'm actually sober. And that's what sucks about it. Dude, trust me. If I, if I was drunk, I would be half naked right now. Trust me. I'm allergic to parties tonight. I hope everyone else is uh, drunk for me. Who do you got? I got uh, Nunes. So I'm going to go with Nunes. Blue's Clues face. Yo, Julius, what's up? Nope, you're the ma new man, 100%. No, Bill, you're the man. Stop calling me names. He has COVID. <laughs> That's great. From uh, Kevin. Uh, no, no, from... Uh, who's that? From Julius Hardman. He's got COVID. Amanda packs a punk, so I have to agree with you, uh, Scott Kimberly. This guy, uh, th this guy is a known drunk. John Orson? I'm a known drunk? I don't think so, sir. Skylar McCoy tacos. This guy takes all the grenades. <laughs> you swallow them, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Too much zest sauce. All right, boys and girls, let's bring you the main event of the evening.
All right, guys. For this fight, as I reload ES shit. And by the way, thank you all my bros and hoes and different error codes for joining us for UFC 289 live coverage. Brought to you by me, Nipata, along with the producer. Holy sweet shit, doggy style Mary. Why? <laughs> oh, my coverage just cracked out. ESPN, what the fuck are you doing? Is Nunez male or female? <laughs> Yo, that's great. We got some, we got them trolls in the comments. I'm digging it. Can you do uh, turbulence, please? I don't even know what that is, my friend. Joe Mama. Ooh, nice. The world. 5,000 on the new champ from Mexico. Time to let out. Turbulence. No more talk. Okay. No more talk, everybody. Come on. Let me try to put on... Amanda Nunez right now. Three strikes to seven. Starting to open up. That's what she said. Ooh. Scott, are you watching the fight? Because I have to reload ESPN. Please put it. Please put it on, sir. Goes for a takedown from uh, Nunez. One takedown has been blocked. That takedown defense. That takedown attempt has been stuffed. As I reload ESPN. Sorry about that, guys. God damn it! Why does this always happen? Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're just filling each other out right now at four and a half minutes. And with all the comments right now about lezzing out, filling each other out is the wrong assessment to use right now, sir. <laughs> Not much is happening. They're just still dancing around, trying to get distance on each other. Too, no too much nose candy? I wish, my friend. I wish. Tonight I'm allergic to parties, unfortunately. To bring you guys some commentary. Fuck me in the beard. Yeah, they're not, they're not even touching each so other. So right now they're, they're feeling each other out, around. right? They're just dancing around still at over a minute into the fight. And that nobody, That's nobody what happens when you respect each other's game. You just threw a front kick. When you respect really each other's game, anything. that tends to happen. Sorry, guys, for the delay. I am reloading ESPN. My down, ESPN just crapped out. Aldana came quickly back up, so... It was, uh, yeah, she did, uh, Nunez didn't want to go to the ground with her. She took, she, uh, dropped her, but didn't do anything with it. They're both still up on no the shit. feet, just, uh, still filling each other out. I had a minutes. feeling that it was going to play out like that. Aldana has a lot of weapons and brings a lot of tools to the table. And a Nunez, and Nunez is not going to say a mistake she did and blow her wad in the first round. Especially with that. Remember that first fight with Pena? Like, come on. She's not going to make the same mistake twice. Yeah, they are both being very tentative. They both threw a front jab at the same time, popped each other. Amanda threw a front kick that didn't land. Come on, ESPN. Amanda's what the fuck are you doing? some front jabs. Another front kick. Amanda just keeps throwing a left jab and a, a front kick over and over, but not really doing anything with it. Well, fuck me in the beard. Aldana has yet to do something. Nunez did a spinning back kick, but missed. So, uh, uh, minutes in. Uh, Aldana doesn't want to be in a gunfight, especially with Amanda Nunes. Yeah, Aldana is just hasn't hasn't really landed anything except for like one uh, one left jab. Everybody's starting to uh, chant. I think they're getting a little bored. <laughs> Nunes throws another front kick, but misses. That's what happens when two of the best fighters in the world uh, compete. This is what happens. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on with ESPN right now? Well, fuck me in the beard. Nunez feigns a uh, single leg takedown and then goes for a punch. She goes so it's pretty a much a slow first, and Aldana first round. With a punch. 
Nunez is still going to get that muff coverage. Oh, Aldana <laughs> right, you call, with the right. You call the action. I'm going to call the comments. Aldana cracked her with the right. This uh, isn't a stream. It's a loop video. Best, uh, oh, we'll go hit. back in your locker, nerd. Why cancel? Why did you cancel the main event? <laughs> Never got Weaver. Go Brazil. Why and how would it be a loop? <laughs> trash card. Uh, Big Bro just said trash card. I have to disagree with you, man. I thought it was a great card. I thought highly competitive fights. I think Aldana's gotten the ESPN best. ESPN is uh, on you. Shut it down. It could be. Could very well be, my friend. Aldana's gotten the best. Venomous. Do you have your stream up yet? From. Ah, uh, soon, soon. Working on it. As as the fight started, as it, as the fight literally got going, completely fucking shut down. Nunez goes for a you have leg kick. Crack Joshua, I want to crush some mush, mush cabbage. Well done, sir. Well done. My downloader, who's winning, though? Scott, in your assessment, who's winning? I would say uh, Aldana got the best hit in, but, uh, but Nunez has been the most aggressive and throwing the most punches. So uh, the round just ended. I would give the first round to Nunez just because she was more active, but I, uh, I think Aldana got the best, uh, the best hit in when she uh, countered her with a right. And kind of got her off balance. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hashtag Nunez Muff Cabbage. Shut up so he can hear. How about you shut the fuck up? Get the fuck out of here. Uncle Dana knows what's going on here. LOL. Yeah, could be. Could be. Could very well be. Get a good, get a new gig, nerd. Steve Smitty. Everyone guess Steve Smitty's mom's panties. What color are they? Best answer wins. I will personally send you $10. It's going to come from me. Let's all guess. Let's all guess this man's mom's color of her panties, please. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess polka dot for this one. You know it's polka dot, right? All right, we're Fucking just weird. about to start the next round. Who's got the first round? Oh, we got Crack Joshua says red for Steve Smitty's panties. Hot, icy, hot pink, polka dot purple. All right, beginning. Oh, uh, uh, leopard round. print. Oh yes, yes, yes. That's a good guess. Great assessment, sir. Great assessment. Yes. Have you been able We've been to, get, on cocaine. to get your uh, stream back up? Yep, got it. Oh, okay. yes. Let's, let's go. Let's stick with the what's happening in the fight. <laughs> Dora the Explorer panties. Green. Oh, yes. Rest in peace, John Wayne. <laughs> okay, so. All right. Goes for a leg kick from Aldana. Take a break from the comments, boys and girls. Nice punch. Go, uh, fakes out. Fakes out a takedown and gets a 2-1. Uh, and another low kick lands from Nunez. Adana's going to have to open up right now. It's uh, it's not looking too good, especially from these uh, stats right now. Total strikes. Uh, Nunez has 34. Aldana has 9. Not looking too good. Just saying. Boom, Chukalogo. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Very timid, very slow pace. Goes for two elbows. Goes for a upward elbow. Goes for a single leg takedown. Nunez slams her right on her ass. Wow. And doesn't even complete the takedown. Just keeps it standing. Holy shit. Nice kick to the ankle. Goes for an uppercut and hits with a right hook. Nice low kick. Aldana tries to return fire. Uh, right now, Nunez, I have winning, just by the stats. Oh, clinches up. Nice knee from Nunez. Aldana looks fucking frightened right now. You see what I'm seeing, Scott? Mm -hmm. She's refusing to engage, refusing to go into the pocket. She looks fucking terrified right now. Say hi for the Brazilians, my man. What's going on? How you doing? Viva Brazil! Let's go, baby. Oh, Jesus Aldana Christ. Got a nice uh, leg kick on her and threw Nunez off her balance. Nunez is just fucking taking her to town. Holy shit. I think Aldana is terrified right now. Yeah, I think maybe. she had a she had a feel. Everyone has a game plan until they get it got get hit. 
And I think she got a taste of that power, and she's she's backing off. She's a yeah, lot more timid uh, than when she first started yeah. the fight. Yeah. Yeah, Nunez is much more comfortable in there, and she's taken over. And she's being a lot more creative, going with that upward elbow, going with uppercuts, mixing up her shots, giving Aldana something to think about. And every time Aldana pushes forward and tries to even enter the pocket, Nunez has something waiting for her, which is, uh, you know, fighting someone like that and fighting someone of uh, Nunez's caliber, you got to bring some weapons to that table. You got to bring some uh, food to that table, baby, because, yeah, crazy. Uh, Adana's got to do something. She's got to really. Adana's got to do something to gain Nunez's respect. Taking a break from reading the comments, by the way, because I'm loading this up. Stream crapped out on me twice. Fuck me in the beard. And by the way, thanks to all my bros and hoes in different areas because of swollen lip nodes and tiny chodes for joining us. For the UFC 289 coverage, I'm David Potter, the Big Dick Bandit of all of MMA. I want to welcome all my fellow Big Dick Bandits for joining us for the coverage of UFC 289. Right now, I have Nunez up two rounds to zero. Uh, what do you? How do you square uh, the uh, the fight so far, Scott? I'm a, I'm a minute behind you, so I'm within the last minute of the second round, and definitely Nunez is up two rounds. She's just been way more active, just taking control of the fight. Right, right. Aldana's been timid. Yeah. Aldana's got to do something to gain her respect. She Right now, she's, she looks worried. She looks like she's running out of options. She's got to do something. And Nunez looks fucking supremely comfortable right now. Big smile on her face, ready to engage. She's mixing up her shots. Every time Aldana even thinks about, thinks about going into the pocket, Nunez has something waiting for her. Aldana's got to do something to gain that respect. She's got to go for that big home run punch just to get Nunez to back off a little bit. The out process right now. Donna trying to push forward. Tries to engage again. Nunez hits a nice three-piece and a soda and goes for a low kick as well and lands that. Nice straight. Another straight. More combinations. Nunez looking to end this fight. Starting to press forward. Another huge hook from Nunez. Nice front kick from Nunez. Nice deep kick. Just backs her right off. Nice jab. Circling. Working angles very, very well. aldana has got to put something together. Because Nunez is just tagging her right now. And the way she shifts her body and the way she moves, it, she has so many weapons. So Aldana is literally standing right in front of her. There's no movement right now. You know, it, Aldana is, she's frazzled right now. She has no idea what the fuck to do. And especially we have Nunez, who has so many fucking weapons in her arsenal. And she's faking the leg. She's doing a lot of things and mixing it up. Yeah, and every time Aldana tries to, every time she ships that her titty one direction, uh, Nunez has something waiting for her. She's got to do something to gain that respect. And now uh, Aldana's pressing forward, but she has her hands blocked like this. Fucking shades of George Foreman right now. She knows shots are coming, and the only way, the only way to get through Nunez is going right through her. And I think that's right now Aldana's philosophy. Is if I press forward enough, maybe some opportunities will present itself, like that low kick, that inside low kick that uh, Aldana just landed. That was her goes for a big high kick. Now she's starting to open up just a little bit, and we just need something more. Goes for a takedown, gets a beautiful takedown right back to her feet, push her right against the cage. Nunez going to lift her up, spin her around, and gets that takedown. Nunez right now on top, and right now in Aldana's half guard. Staying nice and tight, staying tight like Tupac and Chug Knight in 1994. Keeping it nice and tight. She's already winning the round. She already won a majority of this round. So, you know, there's not much more she has to do. All she has to do is just stay there, keep pressure. Now she's landing some sharp elbows. All she's got to do is keep nice and tight, stay on top. Perception is reality, so the referees are going to consider this of uh, Nunez winning. All she has to do is just coast right now. Aldana trying to set something up. Nice little can opener. She has a Mark Coleman. Trying to uh, get past to uh, side control. Nice elbows. Nice sharp elbows from Nunez. 
More sharp elbows from Amanda Nunes. Looking to grab that arm, maybe working a Chimera, maybe working a, a Hammerlock. Oh, now it goes right for the neck. Oh, goes for another trip, gets another takedown. That will count as another takedown because they were both on their feet. And now in Aldana's full guard, Aldana's trying to set up a triangle. You can tell that she's lifting up those legs, open guard. And a man who wants no part of that tells her to stand right back up. Shoots again, full body lock, grabs the back of Aldana. Going for that trip. Oh, trips her right back down. Going for a rear naked choke. She's looking to end this fight right now. Nunez is riding a little bit high, though. And I don't think... Uh, I think when you have an Amanda Nunez on you, you don't necessarily uh, see the opportunities that present itself. But right now, while Amanda Nunez is trying to put the boots in, she's riding a little bit too high. She's got to get back to her base, which Aldana's doing a great job doing. But also, Amanda Nunez looks like she's setting up an armbar out the back door. Uh, looks to set up that armbar. She's got a chainsaw out. And great defense. And now Aldana is standing over Amanda Nunez. Oh, big strikes from Nunez. And her corner is waving Aldana. You got to come forward. You got to come forward. Work some angles. I'm telling you, man. Uh, Nunez's ground game is tighter than Tupac and Suge Knight in 1994. Nice elbow. Nice slicing elbow. Downward elbow from Amanda Nunez. And Aldana still pressing forward, trying to create some opportunities. You know you're going to get hit. If you know you're going to get tagged, got it. Oh, my goodness. Another three-piece combo from Amanda Nunez. And Aldana is not giving anything that makes Nunez respect her. Tries to shoot a one-two. Doesn't do anything from Aldana. Gets a nice jab in there. Just glancing blow on Amanda Nunez's chin. Nice shot right to the body. Oh, big hook. A big knee. Oh, look at the end of this fight. Amanda Nunez is looking to end this fight. Oh, big jab. Big. And that will end... I believe that's the third round, Scott. Is that yep, the third, third round? round? Yes, third round. Ends round number three. Amanda Nunez firmly in control. How say you, Scott? What do you think this uh, where this fight's leaning? Amanda has for all three rounds, in my opinion. Yeah, Aldana's yeah, complete have domination. To, uh, Nunez. Finish the fight in order to win this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aldana's got to do something drastic. We're going into the championship rounds. You got two more rounds to show what you got. You're going to have to go for the home run swing. You're going to have to do something drastic. Yeah, she's going to have to go for a home run. Yeah, It's three rounds to zero right now for Amanda Nunez. I have David Potter up three rounds to zip so far. I have you up three rounds, Cotton. MVP of the entire evening is Cotton. Thanks for joining us, brother. And thanks for 1,322 people. All my bros and hoes in different area codes. Thank you for joining us for the official stream and the official coverage of UFC 289. David Potter, follow me on Instagram. David Potter, no relation to Harry. I as in India. G as Scott. Go fuck yourself. We're going to round number four, baby. <laughs> Love you, Scott. That was a great introduction to round four. That was probably the best. Round number four, baby. Starting to put some combinations. Nice kick right to the shin. Yeah, Aldana is very, very heavy on that lead foot, and Amanda Nunez sees that. When you're super, that heavy on your lead heavy. leg, yeah, yeah. When you're that heavy on your lead leg, it only leads to problems, because now Amanda Nunez sees that, and you're literally going to fuck up her entire forward moving momentum, and all the power comes from the bottom of the body all the way to the to the top of your body. So you're taking away essentially power from the top region of your body. And yeah, you can't be heavy on your lead leg. I'm sure that came out retarded and I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Nice combinations. More combinations from Man and Nunez. Oh, Adonis hurt right now. Adonis hurt. And now she's switching stances. Well, not switching stances, but... Nice kick right to the body. Nice forward jab from Amanda Nunez. Yep, 
Yeah, I think uh, Aldana right now, just she's right. She's forward. She's not doing any type of angles, not working any type of angles, not giving a man who has anything to respect. Shoots for another takedown. Great defense from Aldana. Dealing each other out. Aldana's trying to find a good entry point. Nice uppercut. Left uppercut. Goes right to the body from Nunez. Goes for a straight. She's got to have something that follows up that jab. She, she's got to follow up something with the combination. She can't just lead in with one punch. She's got to come in with combinations. That kick right to the shin again. That legal leg. She's very, very heavy on that legal leg. Kicks that. Gets her off balance. Now, oh, push her against the cage. Nice uppercut. And nice hook from Amanda Nunez. Holy shit. Wow. Right now, she's taking more shots in the face than Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I just saw that one on the fly. Sorry, guys. And uh, Aldana starting to telegraph just a little bit. Even her feints gives nothing Amanda Nunez respects. Amanda Nunez switching off her stances, working angles. Great head movement. Shoots for another takedown. Great takedown from Amanda Nunez. Goes for an up kick. And Amanda Nunez is not going to play that game. Back to her feet. Backs her up against the cage. Aldana spins her around. Nice knee to the body from Nunez. Dirty boxing from Aldana. Oh, goes for a trip. Shades of Chuck Liddell versus Rich Franklin. Great throwback fight, by the way. Watch that on UFC Fight Pass. Nice jab. Nice kick right to the wing leg. Getting her off balance. She's going to run out of power leading into round number five in the final round. That's what happens when you're heavy on your lead leg. One, you're going to do a lot. Of da they're going to do a lot of damage to that lead leg where you have to switch stances. And if you're unnatural as a southpaw, it's really going to fuck up your timing. It's really going to fuck up your defense. Oh, nice. Two hooks. A right hook and a left hook lands flush from Amanda Nunes. Oh, another hook lands. Another straight lands. Adana doing some dirty boxing. Nice knee to the face from Amanda Nunes. One minute left. Oh, fakes. Nice fake for a takedown. Goes right for an uppercut. Another right and a left. Oh, man. Aldana's getting pieced up right now. Yeah, this is bad for Aldana. And if you look at the, the striking percentages, Nunes has 65%, while Aldana has only 33 Great stats brought to you by our good friends at uh, ESPN. <clears throat> Slow end to round number four, where Amanda Nunez is coasting this right to a victory. And Aldana, once again, has to go for the home run. Nice right hook. Oh, Muay Thai Plum goes right to, um, for a knee right to the face. Nice jab. And look at these significant strikes from Nunez. 45 to 12. Round three, 26 to 9. This is turning into a one-sided affair. Nice hook, right hook, right to the body from Nunez. This is getting fucking ugly right now. Oh, nice right hook lands right on the fucking face. Taking more shots to the face than Paris Hilton. Holy shit. Oh, nice spinning elbow lands flush. Jesus Christ. Amanda Nunez mixing up her shots. Goes for another takedown. Blocks that takedown. That ends. We're going to the final round, round number five. Thank you very much for joining us for live coverage of UFC 285. I'm David Potter, the big dick demand of all of MMA. We appreciate you joining us for all my bros and hoes in different area codes. And we go to the fifth and final round. We thank you very much. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe. We love you all. Thank you for participating in the comments. All my trolls. All my good folks. Con Weaver, you're the man. All these people in the comments, you're fucking awesome. We appreciate you uh, joining us for live coverage of UFC 289. And I'll be covering, I'll be flying for UFC in Jacksonville, so I'll be there in person, and I'll be delivering you live coverage in person, just because I love you. As we go to the fifth and final round of UFC 289, fifth and final round, Aldana's going to have to babe root this bitch, and she's going to have to go for the home run swing. And Nunez is still fresh as a daisy. Her game has been tighter than Tupac and Shug Knight in 94. I use that reference about four times, but it's definitely relevant to what's going on right now in the cage. And they touch gloves, and here we go, round number five. 
shooting that jab off, working angles. Now, now Aldana's starting to open up. She knows she has to go for broke right now. Anuna shooting that jab, working angles, circling towards her uh, her her power hand, which shows absolutely no respect for Aldana. Shoots for another takedown. Great takedown defense. Nice knee from Aldana. Push her against the cage. Goes for a trip, and she'll complete that takedown. And all she has to do is just sit on top. Oh, she's got to not stretch out that arm. Aldana will throw up another triangle and throw up more triangles than kindergarten shapes classes. She's got. She can't. She can't. You know, be careless right now. You're about to win this fight, baby. Can opener from Nunez. Nunez on top. Aldana on the bottom. Pivoting her hips. Could be shooting up possibly an arm bar, maybe even a triangle. Tries to trap that arm, keep that arm isolated from the other arm. As Amanda Nunez raining down bombs. Raining down more bombs in Battlefield Baghdad in 2003. Right now, Nunez chilling out in the closed guard, keeping nice and tight. And over a position, you're either really high or you're really low. Shooting more elbows. Aldana on the ground trying to spin out, use her hips, use the cage to walk, possibly set up an arm bar, but Nunez is keeping tight, keeping low. All she, know, all she needs to do right now is just stay in that same position, body, body, head, get some shots, bingo, bango, we ride this out to a decision. As three minutes are left, opens up that guard once again. Amanda Nunez not even electing to pass the guard, even though it's an open guard right now. Amanda Nunez just happy to coast and ride this out to a decision victory. Once again, Amanda Nunez staying tight, staying inside, rain down punches, rain down elbows, slicing elbows towards Aldana's face. Open guard, and Amanda Nunez not even deciding to pass the guard. Does not want to go to sign mount, side control, nothing. She's happy where she's at. She doesn't mind chilling out here. She knows Aldana has nothing left in the tank. She knows she can ride this out for two more minutes and get the decision victory and retain her championship. And we're going to go to a Nunez versus Peña 3, which is going to be a very, very intriguing third contest in their trilogy. As Peña watching, looking on, this is going to be her opponent leading into the third bout when Peña gets back from injury. And Peña just flashes to the camera that she's number one. And now Amanda and Nunez gets full mount. Holy Santa Claus shit, this is bad news bears. More punches to the body, more shots to the body. Jesus Christ, Amanda Nunez is beating the shit out of her. Jesus Christ. This is a fucking one side beating for all five rounds. Aldana got a taste, just a, blah, just a fucking taste of that power in round number one. And Aldana just fucking shut down. More shots to the face. More shots to the face. And Kim Kardashian during that porn tape with Ray J. More shots to the face. And Nunez looking up and smiling. Looking up at the camera. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This was a one-sided ass whooping from Amanda Nunez. And all the respect in the world for Aldana. She knew she was out. She was being outclassed, outmustered, outmaneuvered. And yet she st stuck in there, stayed in there for all five rounds. Much respect for Aldana. Just uh, Amanda Nunez is on another playing field, on another league, and another solar system. Jesus Christ. Very, very intriguing matchup to make with one minute remaining for Pena taking on uh, Amanda Nunez in their third bout to complete the trilogy for the uh, world championship. What a fight. Wow. Five rounds of fucking pure domination. Now Donna just rockied it. You know, just fucking rocky every single round. You know, she was down but not out. She did not give up. You know, she could have found an exit out of there. There was a lot of bad predicaments that Amanda Nunez put her in. She could have had a way out, and she decided to stick in there. You can play every sport with one ball. I don't care if you're male or fucking female. You can play every sport with one ball. Combat sports takes two. Respect to both of these fucking ladies and both of these fucking athletes for laying on the line. What a fight. What a fight card. 20 seconds left on the clock. Amanda Nunez is going to coast. More punches to the face. Looks up at the timer. She knows she's got this. Nine seconds, eight seconds, seven seconds. More shots to the body. More body shots than me in college. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh, rain down punches. Rain down punches. It's all over. Five rounds of pure fucking domination from Amanda Nunes. And Amanda Nunes points right to Pena and says, I want you. Yep. And she's outside of the cage right now. What the fuck's going to happen? Amanda Nunes looking right at her, blows her a kiss. Looks at John Elk. And Amanda Nunes shakes hands with Dana White. Juliana Pena versus Amanda Nunes is going to be on deck, ladies and gentlemen. It is the inevitable. Pure fucking domination. Sixteen hundred legends watching with us, and I appreciate every fucking single one of you. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, add me on Instagram, keep up with all my UFC adventures. I'm gonna be traveling to Jacksonville uh in two weeks, and then in July we'll be I'll be there at the expo, UFC expo. Shake hands with me, say hello to me, we'll grab a beer. Fucking, you know, be social, baby. I'm gonna be there the entire week, all the way up to UFC at 290. We're going to be covering that event as well. I'll be at uh, UFC in Boston, my former stomping grounds, my home away from home, Boston in uh, in August. Yeah, good times. Good times are upon us, and I can't wait to cover the sport and cover UFC, the sport I love my entire fucking existence on this earth since I escaped the womb. Can't wait to cover that sport and give you guys full coverage. People of Brazil, Amanda, my queen from Ultimate Solution, Islam, Salam alaikum. Glad you're with us. Let's pull pop Nunez, George Resendez, with uh, Nunez with the victory. What a fight card. What a fight card. Amanda Nunez is going to win this by unanimous decision. Incredible fight card. All the respect, all the props in the world to Amanda Nunez. Wow. What a fight card, guys. <clears throat> Lost my fucking voice. Oh, man. And I got pissed again too. Guys, the live stream, the real live stream is coming up next, baby. I'm going to bring this and set this up in the bathroom. The live stream, the real main event is coming up next. I'm going to get this whole shit turned down and turn this motherfucker out. Are you ready, Scott? I'm just kidding. <laughs> One more joke to close out the evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure the uh, comments are fired right now. I'm not reading them. But everybody that left a comment tonight and participated, class participation, always important. We appreciate you for participating on this stream and participating during the coverage of UFC 289. <clears throat> and Amanda Nunes wins by unanimous decision. Holy shit, what a fight card. What an event. So happy you could have joined us. Scott, we ready to wrap this up like a Christmas present? Oh, yeah. Ready. Holy shit. We thank you so much for joining us again. All my bros and hoes in different area codes with swollen lip nodes and tiny chubs. Thank you so much for joining us all over planet Earth for UFC 289 coverage. I am David Potter, the big dick bandit of all of MMA. Follow me on IG, David Potter IG. It was an honor and a pleasure to bring you the action and commentate for all you good folks, all you fucking legends in the comments. Stop being wonderful. Stop being fucking legends. Join us for the next next coverage and the next event. And again, I'm going to be there live and in person working the UFC in Jacksonville. And I can't wait to bring you all the action, all the interviews with all the fighters. And I can't wait to bring that to you live here. Keep it locked. Hit like, like, and subscribe. I love you all. I am out like a fat kid in dodgeball. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, peace.